Hi everybody, welcome to TV on. My name is Lauren Blair. Thank you so much for joining us and happy Friday to you. Glad you're with us tonight. As always, we got a uh, little club TV on going on tonight. So really glad that you're kicking off the weekend right here with us. And we have a very, very, very special show as we like to do on Fridays. Really get the weekend started off right. Treat you to something really special. And that's what we have. We have very cool rings. We have amazing values. We have, okay. We have some really, really special wheels tonight on this show. Wait until you see what is coming up in hoop earrings. I, I gotta say, I don't know what's going on. Our hoops get better and better and better. And for the first time, we're actually gonna bring, did you get a sneak peek of these? Uh, we actually have had white diamond hoops. Yes, quite a few. And we've had black diamond hoops, but we've never done color. Color, we've got some color gems in hoops. Oh yeah. And they're the big ones, James. James, they're the big rock star hoops. We got you covered. Tuna, and they have diamonds too. So they're not without diamonds. We got a very special hoop earring. I am thrilled about these hoops, and um, they're very limited quantity. We have a little more than one, thank goodness for that, but very, very, very limited. So stick around. We'll do this at the top of the hour for you, okay? 8 o'clock Pacific time, 11 p.m. Eastern time. We'll get you hooked up with some really fabulous, take your guesses as to what color they might be. But I will tell you, it's a color that makes sense because they still go with everything. So I think that's really important because they kind of, they do. And uh, we have something else for you in diamonds. We have a really spectacular, this is the most fun of fawn diamonds that I've seen. We've got a spectacular, spectacular fawn diamond for you in a fabulous mounting. Wait till you see the bridge mounting with the fawn diamond, probably the most pink of any fawn diamond I've seen yet. And I got to name them, so I've seen quite a few of them. We also have a really special Alexandrite pendant that's affordable. We've got wheels for you. We've got all kinds of beautiful, beautiful certified pieces as well. If you're looking for a pink diamond, if you're looking for a, okay, how about this, you guys? Blueing Black D's. And Paraibas are here at discounts tonight. We like to do some special things on Friday because we have our limited audience on Friday and Saturday. So we like to do some really special values. It's kind of like a little VIP uh, showing for you. So that is on the way. And we even have Gent Styles. And where do you see our designer clovers? I have these beautiful big diamond clover earrings. We've never had anything like it before. It is hot. So make sure you stay with us throughout the show. We got to kick off here in Ruby's. Take a look at this. And um, by the way, Bonnie, I have your request. So Bonnie, whenever you're ready. Huh? What? Who? No, a different Bonnie. No, Bonnie in California, James. This is Bonnie in California. She wants some earrings. So we've got you, Bonnie, covered. We also have, okay, yeah, and if you have any requests at all, something you want to see, let me know. Let's talk about rubies. And it is rubies and diamonds together. And uh, this is item number 1655. So you guys all ready to party? Yeah, it seems like everybody was going to Vegas today. That, huh? It is Friday night. Yes, it's Friday. Well, it's, it's my Monday, but it's Friday. Yeah, yeah, you know how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> Weekend duty. But I'll tell ya, it is a very, very special Friday. Wait till you see this lineup. I have only introduced you and given you a little heads up on some of the items. I've got some surprises up my sleeves tonight. So stay with us and get requests in if you got them. Here is a one of a kind in white gold. Only 70 points in Burma. There are three marquees cuts here in Burma rubies. That's rare on its own. But what do we do? We mix it up with some pave diamonds between them as well. And you've got this fabulous, fabulous band style ring, but in a totally, totally different, upgraded and designer look. So really special to VS diamonds are extras and we're not charging any for those, but this is a quick one only. So just a quick little, let's see who's out there. Welcome you in like, let's see who's really got the phone working and the dialing going quick tonight because this is one of those mega, mega values. It's not even $9.99 or $8.99 or $7.99 or $6.99 or $5.99 or $4.99 or $3. This is going to take a while. It's not even $3.99. We're going to blow it out right now. The very first caller. It is one only. I mean, you would pay more for one ruby out of this ring. You know that. I know that. Let's blow it out right now, shall we? It is going to be only $388 for the one ring and the one ring alone. And every single ruby in this ring is fantastically bright and beautiful too. They've got this high clarity, which you don't always see with rubies. They look amazing. You got the VS diamonds between every one. So it really looks like you get, I mean, watch this and it looks like a much smaller size than I normally wear. 
So let me try it on my pinky, which I actually think is kind of cool. I'm all into pinky rings and I love pinky rings, thumb rings. I think one of the hottest looks going. So you have that here with that beautiful, beautiful style. And you can see those bright, clean, gorgeous rubies where it actually goes side to side as you wear it. There is going to be a full across the way, across the top, solid looking gems. And it's only 388. So that's it. One only. And hello, July's birthstone. You know what I just thought of, Jess? Oh, Tony, there's a couple of wheels here. <laughs> Hold on. Hang on. Oh, I don't think you saw that trick. You know, like when the, did you ever see like when they do that in TV shows and they grab the tablecloth at the corner and they whip it off and everything on the table? Like who does, what, what TV shows did that have? I know once it happened to I Love Lucy. You know I saw it in I Love Lucy. That's where I've seen it. Anyway, I kind of just did that with the wheel. <laughs> That was the same kind of effect there. Anyway, 388 on this one. Sounds like it may be going out. And what was I going to say? I was going to say, before I discovered there's two wheels, uh, I was going to say, Joanne, you have such a fancy new desk back there. Are you now corporate? Are you like CEO? Chief, exec uh, Chief executive operator? Is that what you are now? Chief Executive Operator. That's what she is. I mean, look at her desk, James. There's no disputing that. You don't get a desk like that for no reason. That's not, I'm sorry, Amanda, but I don't know. You got to talk to Joanne, get her secret there. She's got like a shine, it's like mahogany, it's polished. I mean, she looks like an executive back there. Yeah, working her way up. You put that on the college resume right there. Yeah, on the application. <laughs> She's doing big things at an early age. All right, so 388, no, I noticed that stuff, Joanne. All right, so here's what we're gonna do next. This one is here if you want it. <sighs> Unless Adrienne has it, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. I was actually thinking, Jess, do you know this? I know you were talking to, um, I got a big shout out to Michelle and Jerry. Do you know it's Michelle's birthday on Sunday? Oh, you did know that? Darn, I thought, what? Oh, was it Flag Day too? Oh, Michelle's birthday is a way bigger deal than Flag Day. I mean, sorry, America, but Michelle, birthday, flag day. Mm, yeah, I just, what do you do for flag day? I mean, you put the flag out, I'm assuming, right? I don't have a flag thing on my house. Doesn't quite go with the, the exterior decor. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I need to install one, right? Can you imagine me out there on a 30 foot ladder drilling in a little <laughs> flag holder? I don't know. Sounds dangerous. Sounds like I got broken ankles and broken wrists on the way if I try that, you know, and I've already done that. In two years, I've had broken ankles and broken wrists. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. That's when I kept my feet on the ground. So yeah, I better just, yeah, keep them there. <laughs> what would happen if I got on a big ladder? I don't know, but we're not going to try it anytime soon. Who needs to get engaged? I know everyone's like, whoa, that, where'd that come from? Okay. Okay. That got serious real fast. But look whose attention I have over there. Someone's keep, uh, someone's perked up. Take a look at this. This could be a diamond engagement ring. This could be uh, a cute little promise ring, right? It's how we do diamond solitaires. We've got a diamond that is actually really wrapped in more diamonds. And this is, you can tell, you can tell this is 18 karat gold, right? Because the color of the gold gives it away. It's a beautiful, rich, buttery color. It is 18K and it's 28 points in the diamonds and that center stone is all on its own, a 16 pointer. So you got a big stone. Oh yeah, big stone in the middle. You can see that stamp of the 18, oh, oh, no, no, no. Designer, uh oh, you see the designer, oh, goodness. Tony, do you have the, the little like blur box? What do they call that? The little sensor box? You know, they would normally, <laughs> He's like, I didn't think we needed that for this show, but okay. Um, yeah, the designer logo's in there. It's okay. Um, sorry, designer, we're going to discount this. And they don't discount their jewelry very often. And actually, some of their jewelry ends up on TV too. But um, we got this one, and we'll blow it out. And you can have an 18 karat gold solitaire with a halo, one only in the yellow gold only, first caller on this one. And that is a 16 point center. So that's a really good size stone. And you could still pair it up with band rings, wonder rings, wedding bands, whatever you want, right? Maybe just a little basic band. You can do whatever you want with it. But it's a really smoking value at not even $1,000 for a stunning diamond ring. And this one, keep in mind, is going to be actually, let's blow it out. Let's make it six. $699 for that one. One only on our fabulous 18 karat gold diamond ring. And you know what else we have? We have a very special Elite 8 wheel coming up in this hour. One of, I haven't had an Elite 8 in like three whole days and I'm missing them and I know you're missing them and I can't wait to show you the discounts that we've rounded up for you. Plus we have a museum 
wheel as well that is going to blow you away. Plus, I have one of the best paraibas that is here. This one's kind of fresh and fun and a great mounting, so we have that on a discount. I don't know why that's so low, but it's gone really, 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 really out of this uh, out of our pricing of Paraiba typically. So I'm excited about that. So let's talk about what's next here. And let me try this real on just in case you're wondering what a 16 point salad here looks like on the hand. I mean, isn't this the sweetest little ring here. You got a really special look with that beautiful solitaire and we'll just kind of pop it on over to the center there. I mean, right. And it still looks like you have just one stone, right? It does. I mean, it's done in such a way where the pave rims that center stone, but I don't know. It fooled me. When I see it on the hand, it just looks like one great center stone. So it's really fabulous. It's only $6.99. You got 18 karat buttery gold, and we're going to show you a big Morganite. And everyone's asking for Morganites lately. I'm sorry, James. Did I never give it? Holy cow. 46. I'm so out of practice. It has been so long since I've been here. I am completely, completely out of practice, you guys. So forgive me. It's going to take me about 45 seconds to get into my groove here. <laughs> but I know that's what happens with those sneaky days off. They don't pop up much, but once they do, I don't know. It can get really in the way here. Take a look at this huge Morganite in the pink variety. And uh, anybody guess what kind of hoops we have coming up? Did you see these? The Rockstar hoops, the big one and a half inches, they're going to fly. We're very excited about those. But here it is, 3376. And the added number on that last one, if you need it, was 4657. So yeah, 4657 if you need the solitaire's item number. But here we are with 3376. This is the 517 pink morganite and why we say that that sounds like a um, sounds a little bit redundant because morganites are pink but usually they are more peachy pinks brown pinks things like that this is actually a true diamond pink color in a 517 that's a five carat 17 in a marquise cut with 26 points in vs diamonds as well that go all the way around it and it is in the rose gold with this kind of discount it is time to see it out the door once and for all and we have got a good one for you here and this is a massive ring and i want to show you the inside it is built up right it is built to perfection look at all of that amazing rose gold so that is a really really special piece and look at the way the light shimmers through it beautiful in fact it's almost like a little bit of an ultraviolet type blue that's coming through that's a really good sign that's when you know you've got serious morganite on your hand let's blow it out that one's 61.99 ordinarily that's what happens when you get these true diamond pinks especially now because think about it there's such a rush for actual pink diamonds and they're so difficult to find that it makes the pink morganites very much in demand and we've got a very special stone here and look at what it does this is a rock you guys huge gem not six thousand not even even half. I mean, if we do 3100, that's a very, very special value. Watch this. Not even going to be 31. I'm not even doing 2000. Let's see who's out there. Let's go 999 on this one. Yeah, we're going hard on the value tonight. Big time piece, special Morganite, one of our big ones and actually one of the few that we have in the true pink color that you see right there for $999. So that one's going to go a 517 collection grade that looks like that. And then the big Paraiba, there is such a big, I, I tell you, 17,000 was the last time I had this. It is so far away from that. It just makes you wonder. Yeah, what was going on with the discounting today? Boy, the weekend kicking off right. Can I just show you these? Um, these are the special clover designer earring. Oh, you knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Just too much momentum on the swing of this Morganite here. But there, nope, it does it again. <laughs> Now, how did I do that the first time? It was all happy the first time. Let me know if you'd like it for $9.99. And what I'm going to do is, if I can leave it here, we're going to gear up. <laughs> okay, roll over, roll over. I feel like I'm at jewelry obedience school here. Roll over. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Roll over. Okay, good. Good. You passed. All right. So let me just show you these earrings because these are super cool. And I don't know. I don't know. If you want to go very, very high end designer, these are also going to be a challenge to set up. But I just need to show you what we have here. One of my favorite motifs in jewelry. And I've seen a lot of jewelry. I own a lot of jewelry. I got to tell you all the time after, you know, surrounding myself with jewelry every day, there's really... <laughs> Boy, oh boy, I'm giving myself the challenge early. Let's just look on the hand here for a moment so you can see the size because that's really impressive. This is what I live for. Whenever I see this design, I've been doing this now for you know, a few years, and, and I gotta say, this is the design that always captures my attention no matter what. And yeah, it's associated with some very, very exquisite high-end couture designers, yes, where they might do it in enamel or mother of pearl. Nothing like diamonds, by the way, as far as value. But that's usually how you see this. The motif itself is what is so, so, so eye-catching. 
And this is done in a massive diamond earring. And I just want to point them out. 4982 is the ad number. I've got the one. I'm going to show you both together if I may, because I think I can do this, you know. Little again, little rusty, but we'll, we'll see here. Take a look at these and wait till you see the backings that they have and the way they're finished. This is a hoop as it starts with the pave and then it actually has more and more and more and more diamonds all the way through in these really intricate clovers. I am so over the moon for these. This is always one of my favorite motifs. I own a white diamond ring and a yellow diamond ring with the same motif and I just wear them more than anything. I will tell you there's a carat 70 in diamonds here in this pair of earrings. So really incredible. I would argue it looks like even more than that and they are white gold only. They're from a designer line which shall remain nameless for now because we are going to take the $75,000 retail price tag and are we ever 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 obliterating that it's just your time to pick them up this is a major earring look at the backings while i get the ruler here i mean look at the way those are finished in the back that is some very very impressive design element and i've got my ruler here to show you as well the exact length so you can see that they are an inch and a half from top to bottom and of course they have the width as well i mean you've got about a three quarter inch width to the clover itself micro pave if anybody loves them you let me know i wouldn't be surprised if these are quick to go so beautiful and don't worry they're they're definitely intense on the gold but they're not too weighty this is not an earring that i imagine is going to drag or pull down your ear piercing at all because again we're very conscious of that we understand that yeah Thank you on the Morganite. Well done on that Morganite. Enjoy it. But this is solid. And look at the diamonds. It's even right at the uh, at the midpoint where the hoop meets the clover. You have a bezel set diamond as well. So very, very special indeed. Are you guys ready? I've got one pair. I mean, we might as well see them out the door. Am I right? This one's creeping forward. There you go. Look at how stunning these are. Ooh, they're not 7,500. That's 90% off. They're not going to be. 75 they're not even 39.99 i would really dial in fast if i were you major workmanship so much gold all 14k and we're going to blow them out right now those earrings are 2999 dollars if those are a must for you there is one pair in the entire world that we have at that discount otherwise you can go get them for seventy five thousand dollars. but when you want that value and that savings 29.99 that's the way to go i had to show those early because for our diamond lovers and for our designer diamond lovers that is for you so $29.99 and again that beautiful exquisite length where I still think if you're someone who's comfortable in diamonds I still think that could be your new signature earring I don't think it has to just is a little bit about personal style but I don't think it has to be reserved for just a dressy occasion I mean, certainly they would work for that. That's a lot of bling going on, and I love those. So let me know who's got them. Let me show one up close again, because I wanted to show you the workmanship up close as well. I mean, the front is dazzling. That's where all your life is to the diamonds, but look at the back and that workmanship. And this is important, because hair back, right? Short hair, hair up, hair back, or just a short hair style. This is what a lot of people are going to see, and those are even clover cutouts in the back of the earring. So how impressive is this? I mean, wow. So $29.99, that's just the one, and that is a hoop that's going to be a snap bar closure on the hoop itself so just give it a tug and it opens click it into place and it aligns beautifully and locks so that is $29.99 and I'm going to try one on if I can let me see this one's not going to sit on its own so I may just have to do that when our next item is up but take a look at that beautiful right so congrats on the Morgan night let me know who got that and then $29.99 for those earrings those are on their way or at least should be and who was it Hi, Nancy. Thanks for being with us on this Friday. Thank you so much. Enjoy your Morganite. I want to show you this. What looks like one of the most important. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I wasn't here last night, so I would have. Were they last night? Uh, we'd have. I don't know what what they are, so we'd have to check. I know they have notes in the back and they have. Yeah, they'll, they'll be able to tell you right away if they're here to show or not. Um, but I can't, that's the one time I can't, I can't help you out because I, <laughs> I don't know what was here last night. But here we are with 4851, but we will check right now. And if you have some information on what kind of diamond earrings, we can probably figure it out. Hoops or drops or studs or could the diamond earrings could be quite a few things here. And uh, the last diamond earrings, by the way, I'm going to try those on for you. I can't help myself. I love them. So here we are with a, any guesses what that is? Kind of a, a really cool stone that could be a couple of different things, right? Item number is 4851. I will tell you, this is rare as can be. It looks to me like a sapphire or a spinel, 
but it's actually going to be something that is a little more unusual in this color. We don't usually see, and I'll tell you what's really, to me, like the gem experts of the world are gonna be surprised. I think when I say this, because of the fact that this stone has clarity, and that might be the deciding uh, factor that tells you usually it would not be this variety of gemstones. So there's a little hint, hint. This is 4851, and this particular stone is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pink tourmaline. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. This is like looking like one of the best sapphires in the world, but it's a tourmaline, and that's what usually would stump you, right? Because tourmalines, you would expect to have a lot of inclusions. We do. We always expect that with tourmalines. They're always, again, type 3 stones, and that's why we get really excited when we see a really, really beautiful, bright, clean tourmaline, whether it be Parahiba, whether it be... Because it doesn't need to be copper bearing to be a type 3 stone, by the way. All tourmalines are type 3 stones, which simply means that, by nature, they have a lot of natural inclusions to them. Uh, Tony, I just tried on the earrings real quick if anybody wants to see those. These are the fabulous diamond earrings that we just had uh, a moment ago. So I just wanted to show those really, really quickly in case you're wondering about the size of those and what they look like from a little bit of a distance. But what do you think of those? I mean, right? A great presence on those earrings. And remember, those earrings were what? Only $29.99. So just a quick look at those if you want to see the length and just the drop and how they write. They hit perfectly at the jawline there, which is really a good flattering length for an earring to be. So. Anyway, if you love them, give us a call. We'll help you out with those. Or I could just leave them on. <laughs> Take a look at our pink tourmaline, though. Wanted to show you this. This is our 2 carat 31 Congo. Ah, that would explain why it's got more clarity than we usually see in a tourmaline is because this is the source that's the newer source for tourmalines that has this amazing clarity as a rule, right? We don't see it on every stone, but generally out of that source, we've seen very, very beautiful, clean material from the blue greens to the greens to the indica lights to the pinks, which are not usually this classic of a pink. And then you've got a full one carat. This is where the wow comes in. We've got a full carat and diamonds on this triple split shank. And it's really lovely. Look at that. Huge diamonds individually. And it looks almost, when you have this on the hand, it does give you that look because the split styling of the three rows, it gives you the look like you do have your ring surrounded by ring guards, doesn't it? So <laughs> take a look at this. Take a look at this. Oh, just a beautiful, beautiful stone. Two carat 31. And we're going to blow you away with a price tag here. And the clarity is what really just, I mean, right? It, you just want to think it's the most expensive spinel or sapphire you've ever seen. But it's so beautiful. It's right on the edge of being like a diamond pink color. It's just a little bit more saturated than typical diamond pinks. It's really beautiful, though. Almost a little tiny bit of peach in there as well. First caller, we're blowing it out. It's supposed to be $32.99 right on the bag, but I got a special Friday treat for you. Right now, right here, we're ready. A special deal on a Friday night. We so appreciate you being with us. Let's blow it out right now for $1,499. And that's with a full carat in diamonds around it. That mounting should be more. As a matter of fact, if you do call in that mounting one day, just out of you know curiosity, or you're looking for you know a setting for your center stone that you have loose, well, it's more money for the mounting. 3186 was actually the mounting price, and it's right here on the tag. So there's your mounting price, and I'll flip it around, show you that right there. Whoop, whoop. So that's the mounting, 3186, and yet the whole ring is 1499. That's why we call it a savings right there. That is value for you right there. What'd you think of the clovers? Those diamond clover, aren't they pretty? We've never had anything like that. Never. We've never had a clover earring like that ever. So we did have, um, okay, I'm going to get into it. We'll talk about what's coming up. Do you guys remember the North Stars? Remember the set of North Stars? We had a, really one of our most popular motifs all time. We had North Star jewelry and a pendant. That's how it all started. Then we brought you drop earrings. Will, I have the studs coming up over the weekend. So just a little, oh, and they are so perfect. They are perfect. Where do you see them? The nor you, did you see them? They're so pretty. They're so perfect. And they're stud, but really elongated because that's the whole idea with the North Star. Did we help them out, Tiffany? Um, yeah, I think I still got my Okay. Is there, if there's anything I can show, let me know. All right, so we'll do that. All right, coming up, let's talk about the next item. <laughs> I mean, that stone is so good. I don't know why that's here at $14.99. I'm just kind of waiting here, sitting in a holding pattern, waiting for someone to say sold. All right, next up, should we go to our wheel? We got a big wheel for you, and I do want to let you know, if you're wondering what part of you was discounted, it's one we haven't seen in a while, because I've been showing you the four carat. I've been showing you the 520. I've been showing them over and over and over and over and over, but I do have something you haven't seen, 
and it's right here. And that may be my favorite mounting all time for Pata Eva. So I'm not going to, you know, it's early. We're 24 minutes into a Friday. Most people are at the movies, right? Because you can do that now, right? You can go to the movies again. Would, any, would anybody do that? Would anybody go? Raise show of hands. Anybody go? You just raised your, 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 is that a beer? What is, what's going on over there, Anthony? What is that? What is it? Huh? It's a monster. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you know it? <laughs> uh, you better be joking. Okay, let's hope he's joking, you guys. All right, so anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's Club TV on, you know, we've been petitioning for it. You know, my shows do have like a two drink minimum. It's just not usually for the operators, but they're like, hey, if the viewers have to have two drinks to watch a show, we should do. So anyway, this is going to be item number 800-7994. No wonder we haven't seen it in a while. It's been here a while. It's been locked up in a vault. And uh, nobody was nobody was too keen on selling it because it's one of our best paraibas. Added two carat 97 size. I don't mean to pressure you into the big museum pieces 25 minutes into a Friday. But uh, just want to let you know, this is one of my personal favorite mountings because not only did we give you a huge two carat 97 paraiba, but we also have a carat 41 in diamonds. But it's not just that. You've got to look at the individual stones here. And you've got to see that there is a trillion on each side. Yes, a trillion white diamond. Uh, good size stones there too, about a quarter of a carat in your trillion VS diamonds as well. Just on the sides. That's just part of the accents, if you will. Why I said accents with an accent, I don't know. But that is your accent material that is big, league, beautiful, trillions. I love trillions, you know that. In diamonds, they're extra special. So if you want this one, you know what? Here's the deal. This is what I cannot believe. Because sometimes our, our discounts tend to be, I'm, I'm used to seeing lots of discounts, but they tend to be incremental, right? Like maybe $1,000 off, $1,000 off, $1,000 off, $1,200 off. <laughs> they might happen three or four or five times. But this one, there are all those incremental discounts, and then it goes to another price, which ironically is not in marker, and it's probably not right. I mean, let's just be honest here. There's something weird going on with this one, and I mean weird in the best way possible. This is a weird one. And I just mean that it, it's going to be one of those values that you just sit there and go, wait a minute. You know Paraibas, you know the prices they should be, you know what happens when we put these big, ornate diamond mountings around them. What is this one doing so cheap? And here's what happened. I'll tell you all the increment discounts. It went for 24000 Then it already just dropped right there to seventeen. But then, listen, kid you not, right here on the back, it went to eighty-eight, eighty-eight. Great. Last time I saw it, that's when it was. It's been locked in a vault for a while. So we've all, if, if you're newer to the show, you probably haven't even seen this one as of yet. It went to 8888, then it went to 6999. Okay. But then there's a price written in like regular like ballpoint pen. So I'm not sure if this just got like stuck in the wrong section and a price went on it that shouldn't have, it doesn't look like the markdowns that are in big, big, big Sharpie. Uh, there's going to be, I, again, I didn't write it, so it's okay. It's valid. We're going to do it, guys. And this may be some kind of crazy mistake, but it would be one I would really recommend taking advantage of because very few Paraibas come down this low ever. Even when it's a 1 carat or a 120 or a 130, they very rarely, very rarely come down to these kind of lows. And like I said, it's no longer an incremental kind of price drop. This is just incredible. So if you love it, call. If you love it, get on the lines. Let's not wait. It's not going to stick around. It's not even 69 or 59 or 49.99. I know I was, I was here. I was so I was promising I was just going to give you a preview of it. But the value is so good. I don't see any point in waiting for it. Let's get it a home now. And the early birds, you know what they say. They catch the paraibas, that's what they do. It just sounds so much more glamorous than worms, you know what I mean? You know, like uh, the early bird catches the worm. I never wanted a worm in my life, so I don't know where that, that whole phrase doesn't really jive with me. Let's take a look, though. This I'll take. This I'm all for. It's not going to be $49.99. Give me a call. It's got a major diamond weight. It's the perfect color. It's a big size. It's just a shade under three carats, and I'm going to blow it out. I hope there's I hope you're on the lines because I have one and we already have two people on the phone lines. I'm going to try it on now before I give it the official. Oh, I'm going even further. <laughs> I don't think we need to, but I'm going even lower. I'm going even lower for you. It's not 49. Andy, do you like it already? Go ahead and say sold because I'll just keep on dropping it. Look at this mounting. The diamonds don't quit. The Pata Eva is one of the most lively 
and bright stones we have. Wow. Joanne, you like it too? Uh-oh. Guys, I'm, I have to be the referee here. It's whoever says sold first. It's not 49. It's not even $4,500 blowing it out right now. $4,399 to the first caller who says yes. I only have the one. That's it. Just one. So make sure you're on the phone lines. That's it. $4,399. Okay. Two people, one ring. Let's see who's got it. Three people, one ring. Oh, <laughs> this is not good. So again, we saw the last drop was $7,000. $7,000. Yes, it is, Joanne. It is. It absolutely. <laughs> Tony, rewind the tape. Play, my, play the whole thing. Play the lead up. <laughs> From $24,000 to $17,000 to $88,88 to $69,99. And now, there it is, $4,399. I'll, I'll see who's got it. It's amazing. Congratulations if you've got it. We're still waiting, still waiting to see who's got it. I mean, that just is a gimme. It's a gimme, 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 gimme. For a three-carat stone with almost a carat and a half in VS diamonds, including two huge trillion cuts. Two huge trillion cuts are part of this gorgeous mount. I, I just, wow, okay. <laughs> Tony, give it 30 seconds, please, and we'll see who's got it. Let's see who's got it. I think it was, yeah, it, that always freaks people out when we go too low. They wanted it at five, but now they're like, mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> is it really that good if it's $43.99? That's what I'm saying. It is, but that's why you got to get on the lines quickly because 20 seconds left, and we're going to not put it up again. So we'll just see who's got it. I mean, that's just a fantastic, fantastic stone. And you saw, it's like even from afar, it just gets brighter and brighter and brighter. That's a huge sign. That's kind of what you look for in Paraibas, you know? It's like if you put enough light on it and get up close, sure. Sure, you can make a stone look bright. You can make any stone look bright. But when you see it from afar on the hand and you notice how gleaming, let me show that again. And we're still waiting to see who's got it. I love it with the trillions. Boy, that trillion, one of those trillions is worth about that price wholesale. So, yeah, that's the piece you could break apart for the pieces, you know. It is really stunning. You see how that light just goes all the way through the stone? There's really just a lively characteristic to each side, top to bottom, side to side, beautiful bright glow. That is a heck of a mounting, too. We just, even with our Paraibas, we see some very, very high-end mountings, some custom designer pieces for sure, but not usually with the big individual diamonds like that. That is a winner right there, $43.99. All right, so let me know who's got it, and then we'll say bye-bye to that really, really, really special stone. I can't believe we've got it marked down to that level. That's why it's here so early. So again, kind of keeping the competition a little light for you early, and that's the whole plan. That's the idea. So really, really special piece there. Congratulations if you get it. We're waiting to see who does. Did you have a, oh, okay. That usually means trying to get my attention, but no. <laughs> Just a little excited at the fancy desk, you know. I know. It's exciting. <laughs> okay, coming up. We need affordable. I got affordable. I've got a fawn diamond here, and this one is going to be a little bit contemporary in the mounting. Then right after this, we'll get to our wheel. Okay, I know we're excited about the wheel, where there's going to be some new fine tourmaline, et cetera, et cetera. But I want to show you this. This is really, I'm going to call it a champagne, because this is really, to me, more brown than pink. So I'm going to call it a champagne diamond, but it's still just as important. It's item number 4275. It's a one only, and it's a 50 point fawn diamond. So you've got a half carat stone here, and you have 20 points in white diamonds as well. Now it's kind of a fun, interesting designer mounting. So if you're saying, yeah, I just really want a special diamond and a solitaire, this is kind of like, okay, we put in a solitaire, but we gave you a little spin on it, a little twist on it. Gave you the one stone sitting on top of the band, then the other cluster of diamonds at the base there. 50 points is your size on your champagne diamond. It also has white diamonds at, once again, 20 points in VS white diamonds. We're here to blow it out. We can do any gold color you want, so white gold or rose gold would be fine if you'd like to take it out of the yellow and get something, I don't know, you know use your imagination and get creative and have some fun, but it's all up to you, and there's no charge for that if you want to switch out the gold. But here's what we're going to do. It's no longer $19.99. And half carat champagnes, remembering that, of course, these are natural fancy diamonds. So those are not inexpensive. This is a really special color of diamond because it really does. People who love sparkle, like myself, really love champagne diamonds because they give you an incredible amount of fire. So it's really, really important. It is not going to be $19.99. 
We're not even going to do $9.99. So half off already, and that's not even good enough. We're going to blow it out right now if you'd like it. And again, fun, different way. Maybe you're looking for a more style ring, or you're looking for that pinky ring, or you're looking for something that's stackable. You can do that here, and it's not going to be $9.99. We're going to blow it out. We'll make it $888 for a half carat natural fancy diamond right there for you in a fabulous, interesting, custom, nobody else is going to have it, mounting. Take a look at it on the hand here. This is what it looks like on a ring finger. So it really does. You got to see it on. Like that's where it really shows the personality of the piece. And it still looks like you have one bigger white diamond here when that's a cluster. And then you have your halo of white diamonds around the champagne. Really cool piece there. So that's only 888. Great way to get an affordable, natural, fancy diamond in a great big size. Eight is right there for you. So that one's 888. And then we'll get to our top or rather our lead eight wheel that we haven't had one in a while because we've been putting something together special for you. So here's what we've got. And uh, Andy, I'm going to take it. You did not get the Paraiba. Okay, so that one is available if you'd like it. The Paraiba, wow. <laughs> giving stuff away today, giving stuff away. I'm going to keep on trying though. I'm not going to raise prices. So I'm going to keep on keeping on with my extra lows. I hope it's not the prices being too low that, that you're not happy with here. <laughs> I'm making sure they're all extra low. And this Elite A is where you have come to shop and come to party because these are really cool pieces and we have one of our best. Oh, wait, do you see this? When was the last time we saw a new fine Brazilian tourmaline on the show? It's been a while. We had an old vine the other day, which was fun. And of course, now we got a new find. We've got a really cool Spessor tight. This Spessor tight looks like a red diamond. It really does. And then we've got Sierra Santa Maria. We've got a garnet collection. We've got our Congo. All right, let me show them all to you because we've got an Elite Eight and it's been forever. I have not had an Elite Eight in a while. So here's where I'm going to start because I think this one looks like a red diamond. Doesn't it? This is the prettiest color. And usually Spessor tights are just too dark or just too brown. So this one I love because this Spessor tight, well, part of the fact is it's set up, elevated into a bridge mounting. Yes, yes, bigger diamonds that are set all the way underneath your fabulous Spessor tight. That's a rare form of garnet. And speaking of rare garnets, I've got the ring that's been here like 25 years in a day. And it is this collection of it's a little wild, but that's why I think somebody's going to love it is because it's actually three collector stones. Remember when we see those diamond rings that have yellows and pinks and white diamonds together and we talk about your entire collection in one ring? Those are three rare garnets in one ring. You've got a beautiful Zambaran. You've got a Savorite out of the Kenya, uh, Kenyan National Game Reserve, which is the Savo National Park. And then you've got a bright, gorgeous round Mandarin. So that one is hot if you like a lot of color and you can handle a lot of like again a showy piece now this i'm not gonna make you wait any longer this is the new find i was telling you about if that doesn't look like Paraiba, and yes it is tourmaline and yes it's out of brazil but it's called the new find material and we're so thrilled to bring it to you that is a awesome awesome stone and if you never seem to have maybe the budget for a, a Paraiba. We got you covered here in this new find. Take a look at this. We've got a fabulous tourmaline. This tourmaline's got some life. Look at that rubellite in the trillion. Now this one's just a value. Um, if anybody needs a great similar amount, let me recommend this because it'll fit just about um, any of your classic size calibrated ovals, but it has a gorgeous black opal in that, oh, best color with all the reds. And you can see how it goes from blue to red. Kind of like alexandrite but let me tell you it's harder to see the alexandrite color change than it is an opal because all you have to do is the opals turn it so this is actually a major major chevron dome style mounting with a carrot and diamonds so that's fabulous it's actually a carrot even and then we have you know some tanzanite there for some really special blue wing lovers out there maybe a carrot 42 is what you're after or i have the aquamarine out of that famed but gone totally mined out mine in uh, Brazil, which is, of course, the Sierra Santa Maria. And then I got one more for you. Maybe the talk of the town these days in the gemstone world, which is a fabulous color change dies for somebody called the other day and said, TV on, do you have Zoltanite? And we said, no, we have Zarite or color change dies for it. They're the same thing. We just don't use the term Zoltanite anymore. That was a, a trade name created by a company that no longer exists. So now we have the fabulous, this is the original name. This is what it's called in gemology, in books, in different kinds of reference uh, references that you will see in your gems. Let me just put these garnets. They're wild, aren't they? Because they're all the way, just a huge 
trillion cut kind of idea here, but all the stones are different, right? Round oval pair. So we're going to put that in the back and then you've got this really special trillion. Love that aqua. Here's our new find. I mean, if these don't look like a million bucks, I don't know what is. How many phenomena stones do we have up here? We've got, yeah, you've got a really special color changing stone in the fabulous, which is again, Zarite, Zoltanite or color change dyes where it's all the same thing. It just seems like they've kind of greed upon Zara right now. So that seems to be the going uh, name for it, but it's color change dice. We're out of one source in the world. So there was only one place for it. So it's all the same. That is our color change dice brought a Turkey. There's the Spessor type. This one also is a phenomena stone because that's a play of color opal. Yes. The opal, I would love to. Now, they, they got to love a lot of diamond weight because that's a full carrot and diamonds. It's a dome style ring and it's white gold only. Anthony, I'm number 3971. Let's try that one on first. It's even finished on the inside. Now, I know this elite eight wheel and Anthony, Anthony, may I say something to your viewer? I'm going to go ahead and play a game of telephone through you. You need to tell them that this opal looks fantastic on air. It is, I just picked it up to put it on my hand. It is about 105,000 times better in person than it is on TV. I'm looking at it on TV just like you are. What you can't see is when I pick this up and look at it in real life to try this on, the colors that come through are incredible. Now, I can promise you one thing, and that is, believe it or not, now, I've already gone too cheap on a lot of items, and those items are still here, but I promise you on this wheel, I'm going to go too cheap on this wheel, and they will not remain. It is as simple as that. I've got a value to kick off our weekend. I so appreciate you guys, especially now when people are back out, people are back out going to parties and going to social events and, and you know, hanging out with friends and family and going to the movies or whatnot. I got to tell you how much we appreciate you being with us and spending a little bit of time here kicking off your weekend with us. We really appreciate that. So we're going to wow you. And it's just a limited audience night. We get to do some really, really special things and some really fabulous buys. So if you're ready, this Elite Eight has every hallmark of Elite Jewelry. Rare, rare exotic stones in big sizes, gorgeous mountings, the whole thing. I'm not going to do $29.99 on anything up here. We're 41 minutes into the show. If you would like, take my, take my invitation. Please accept and come in the phone lines early because when this price goes up here, I would imagine if we have at least eight people with us, or maybe it might not even take eight, it might only take four or five people who take multiples off this wheel, the value is that good. Promise you, promise you. I mean, this is value that I'm shocked by. I'm here all the time offering great values. This one stuns me. So if you can call early, I think it's going to be to your benefit because it's not going to be $29.99 or even $19.99. Or here's the kicker. And let me just remind you what's up here. Incredible, rare, exotic, big gems with gorgeous diamond weights and solid gold mountings and bridge mountings and diamond mountings and fabulous, fabulous play of color opal and color changing diaspora, which is one of the hottest stones in the world right now, I might add. Not even $19.99? Not even $999. This is where it's at, you guys. This is where we party. On a Friday night, you get all the values that are absolutely the best. And let me tell you, right now, we're not even going to do $999. I'm going to get a few more of you on the phone lines. We're going to see what we can do here to help you out, save you a bunch, get you a fabulous ring in a designer style, and you're not even paying $999. All you got to do is call me. And if you're brand new, these are where you shop, right? This is some serious, serious value. And let me have you look at that wheel again. Remind you what's up here. That gorgeous blue wing. I mean, could you get a deeper, darker, more vibrant neon blue wing than what's up there? And by the way, it's almost a carat and a half stone as well. So you got a big gem there. We're not going to do $9.99. I need everybody on the phone lines. I thought that would do it. I'll be honest. You want the opal? The opal should be gone. That is item number 3971, white gold only. It's got a carrot of VS diamonds and it is a stunning black opal. Yes, which one? The aqua, I'd love to. The aqua is our best. It's that rare trillion Sierra Santa Maria. It's a carat and a half on that one. And I'll tell you what, Tiffany, it's item number 3227. If you'd like the aqua, you can change the gold color. It also has 89 points in VS diamonds. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> I've done everything and more to this wheel, and apparently it was not good enough. So I'm going to take another liberty here, and I'm going to hear about this, but we're going to get you happy, and we're going to get you excited about some really, really stunning 
prize jewelry tonight. That new fine tourmaline looks like Paraiba. It acts like Paraiba. It's just not been tested yet, but it probably is Paraiba. We're calling it new fine Brazilian tourmaline. Get on the lines if you want that and that ornate mounting. There is not a bad one in the bunch, and I apparently have not done enough to wow you on a Friday. So I'm going to make it not even $899. Come on in. Take anything you want off the entire wheel. We've been waiting for an Elite Eight. Now it's just crazy eights. I'm going to make it $888 while they last. Give it two minutes, Tone. Yeah. The Opal's gone, of course. You know what? You don't need to. And I did want to show you it has the finishing on the inside. If you're, everything's just snug on me tonight because it's like 85 degrees in here and the air is not kicking in. So it's really hot in here. And... You know how I always say, like, you know, you always need to, like, have a bigger size if you eat sushi? I had sushi last night for the first time in literally six months. So <laughs> that might be why, too. That probably has something to do with it. So anyway, I love sushi, and it's been a while. So anyway, 888, 888. The Opal is gone. Congratulations. Is White Gold okay with them on that one, Anthony? Good. White Gold? Yeah. All right. So no problem. All right. Final call. Say bye-bye. To those rings, never going to be a lower price than that, obviously. That is how we shop on a Friday. Welcome to it, guys. Happy weekend to you. Happy weekend. Wait, I tell you, this blue wing block D, I've seen them all from the very beginning, from day one. When it was a day, we came in on, a day, on an off day, looked at this incredible material for the very first time. And I got to tell you, it was myself and ownership and the collector himself, which was the original miner. And I don't know if there are any stones, even our 20 and 30 carats, that were any darker or better than that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm just talking about. It's so, I'm, I'm mesmerized by the neon in that stone. It's a carat 42. It's item number 4734. Take a look. It's my pleasure. Yeah. What? Yes, it can. I was just going to say white gold, yellow gold, or rose gold. And what they did here was they have the carat 42 cushion cut in the middle, but then there's also three bigger diamonds on either side. So you have that really beautiful look, and it is uh -huh, a very, very super neon, super bright, super dark. Gorgeous blue wing black D. Let me know on that one. The blue wing is verifying. We can do any gold you want. We got our best aqua up there. We got color change diaspora. Oh my goodness, those are going for big money. Big, big money in the wholesale world. And then I don't know. Anybody who loves that Spesser tight? Thank you. I mean, that Spesser tight, so beautiful. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a liberty and try that on for you. Because it looks like, I don't know, it looks like some fancy orange red diamond. It looks like a lava diamond, doesn't it? It's so stunning. It's our Spesser tight garnet. It's a 305. So that's beautiful, and it's in the True Bridge mounting where you have diamonds, just one row of big diamonds going all the way underneath it. Love that. Look at it from the profile. Did you just hear that crack? <laughs> that's a really cool piece. Yes, a specimen tight. It's rare. Yeah. Aqua, sure. Nobody has it yet, so if you want it, Adrian, you got it. I don't think anybody got that one yet. Okay. Very good. So the aqua, again, item number on the aqua. Very cool. That one is item number 3227, white, yellow, rose. Just let me know, okay? And then there it is one more time on the hand. So there it is, that bright, stunning, yeah, look at that. Loving that. So congrats on the aqua. And then new find, Brazilian tourmaline. I guess we're leaving that here. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that stone. Boy, oh boy, that's good, right? Loving that. That tourmaline is, I, um, I just want to call it Paraiba. That's all I want to call it. Came from Brazil. Came, it's tourmaline. It came from Brazil. It's from a mine that not that far away geographically from the original Paraiba mine, which has been mined out since the early 90s. So that's a no-go. But now we have that new find, which, again, they're still trying to get every little bit they can out of the mine, which is why we can't tell you exactly where it is, just for the safety of the miners and consideration for them and their safety going forward. But look at how gorgeous that is. Who got your opal, by the way, Anthony? Judith got it. Fantastic job, Judith. Well done. It was a, it was a good one. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So they're garnets, actually, Andy. Yes, they are. This is going to be three different garnets. Let me tell you all about it. We're calling it the rare garnet collection, and that it is. It is item number uh, 3187. It's yellow gold only. So just the way it is, but look at this, Royal Zambar in the color shifts. Then we've got the Savorite over here that's the perfect color, Savorite in the oval. And then a mandarin, bright neon orange mandarin garnet. That's going to be four carats total of garnets there. And then you've got 62 points in diamonds. Each diamond has a halo. And then you get a bezel set diamond right in the middle. The whole piece together really gives me like a floral vibe. To me, it looks like a big bouquet of 
I love flowers, but usually flowers are not even that bright. And these are natural too from the earth. And yet it looks, thank you. That one's gone as well. Yellow gold on that one, Andy. And then just take a look at what's left. Maybe if I can, let's rearrange so I can zoom in a little bit more for you. And we'll take a last look and maybe get you a little closer view of some of these gorgeous pieces. The tanzanite may be gone. I know we're verifying on that one. I, I still have some beauties here, though, that I don't want you to miss, including this rubellite tourmaline and a rare trillion in a ribbon style band. Just one row of diamonds behind the trillion. And then you've got that fabulous tanzanite care of 42. Not too many blue wings for 888 in a ring. We got it there for you. And then, oh, yeah, the fabulous new find that's out of Brazil. It's tourmaline. Looks like a Paraiba, acts like a Paraiba. Just again, no testing been completed yet on that. We are in the process of doing that though. It's not us personally, we don't do that testing. We rely on the biggest gem labs in the world and numerous ones at that to give us a consensus. And when we know that information, when they have a uh, final, final, final confirmation, we'll share it with you and who knows. If you already pick it up today, you might have a Paraiba there. You may, and quite frankly, it still looks like a Paraiba no matter if there's actual copper content or no. So it really is a specialty piece there. Congratulations if you get it. And then we have our diaspora. Again, I can't say enough about the stone, especially this particular stone. Beautifully bright, well cut. Um, just a sensational gem. And ladies and gentlemen, if that can help you with anything, uh, we are getting close to the top of the hour, so I want to give everyone kind of a last maybe 60 seconds to go ahead and take a look and peruse the wheel a little bit. Five pieces left. The tanzanite is verifying, so that one may be gone. You want to check on that one and let us know if you have any questions on this entire wheel. It is a stunning wheel. I mean, you have pieces like this with rarities. I mean, you know, I, I no offense to the quartz family of gems and the citrines and the amethyst, and then you got like peridots and regular garnets. Let me just say, this is not regular material. This is not basic or commonplace gem material. This is really, really rare. I mean, we do rare all the time. But to see pieces like this at only 888 is really just a little bit nonsensical. So I would really encourage you to take a look at them, maybe make those final, final, final requests or questions or whatever, however we can help you. But they're here and they're 888 and they are sensational. So take a look, just again, my best. I, I know we've been without an Elite Eight for several days now, and I just really wanted to bring it on this Friday for you. And I think we did, I really do. The Spessor type, the new fine, who knew? And then we've got the Color Change Diaspora, which is one source, the amazing blue wing, which is a carrot 42. Shout out to Tony and his clock. Look at that, you guys. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's pretty perfect. Like, I'm going to take that clock at the end of the show and wear it as a brooch. It's awesome. It's awesome. Can I have the clock after the show, Tony? It's amazing. It's perfect. Or maybe like a barrette in the hair. Yeah, I could use that today. I could use a barrette. I think it's going to really annoy me by the end of the show. <laughs> All right. 888. Everybody got their questions answered? Because I know there's always this kind of carryover, this little holdover on our wheels. Yes, Jess, question? Okay. You won't make me buy all those? I can't orphan them tonight. Like, do you understand how painful that is to take those five rings and put those back in a vault after I was up here at ta offering them at $888? <laughs> and going, oh, never mind, that didn't work. Like, look at what's up there. And let me add, I have a lot of people, the people that, you know, clearly aren't watching right now, that l are asking me every day, every day, they go, do you have any new finds? Do you have any new finds? Do you have any new finds? Is there any new, new finds? And today there's a new, new find, and it's right there, and it's 888 in a very ornate mounting. Okay, thank you all so much. I think somebody did get the tanzanite, so check with your operators because they know what's up with the tansy, and I will move along. Thank you guys so much for enjoying the Elite Eight, some of it. <laughs> The diaspora is here. That's one of the rarest stones. Well, there are really three rare stones up there. There's four, but really, really rare. It's the diaspora and the spessartite and the new fine. Brazilian tourmaline. Very pretty. And then I've still got my Paraiba here, which I'll float in for a look. Look at the color. Mm -hmm. And that kind of shows you why I was raving about the blue color of that Paraiba. Because you can see there, it's in comparison with the new find, it's got a lot more blue. The new find's a little more green. So anyway, that Paraiba is still here. Yeah, James, go that's a rubellite. It's a tourmaline. Yeah, it's also, I've got an item number for you. It's from the Congo. It's 4813. Let me try it on. It does have the diamonds on the one side, James, so it's a little hard to see from the angle it's sitting at, but it's got this ribbon-like mounting. Asymmetric, wide gold, 
And look at this. Item number is 4813. It's a carat 80 on the Congo Rubelite trillion. <laughs> Pick a lane. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so that's for you, James. Carat 80 on the trillion. And then the VS Diamonds as accents in that, uh, right on the outside of that one. Oh, it's like a side bezel. I mean, it really is like a, a third of a bezel there that you have on the one side and then that corner prong on the outside. So James is verifying on that one of a kind. 4813, James, you can change the gold color. And then what do we have here? Hi, Linda. Linda's with us looking for a pink. Ooh, a pink sapphire. You know what? I love this. We brought something out brand new for her. This is, thank you. You got the tourmaline? Very good. So the tourmaline has found its home. Okay, you guys are joking with me. I told you the three rarest are here, and look, they're the ones that remain. Let's give it 60 final seconds, Tony, and then I'm done. I just really got to give them one last chance here. Rare Spessor Titan the Bridge, Color Change Diaspore. That's a four care. It's a 433. It's a huge cushion cut. And then we have the new find out of Brazil. Wow. 888 apiece. Let me know. We're here to help you. All righty, coming up. So, I'm so excited about this pink sapphire request. It's a beauty and it's brand new. And we brought it out just for the request. And now we get to discount it just for the request because Linda had a certain price range in mind. So we're gonna put it all together for you. So back, 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 25 seconds left. If I can answer any questions on the Spester Titan, the bridge or the diaspora that's gigantic. Oh yeah, or the new fine Brazilian tourmaline, you let me know and then we'll show you that pot of Hiba again right at the top of the hour. We'll, we'll keep showing it till that one goes because that is just a matter of time till someone recognizes that value. And then, okay, I've got a fawn diamond. The fawny, it's the fawny fawn. <laughs> it's the most fawn of any fawn diamond I've seen us do. Look at that, ooh, that's coming up a little bit later. Love, did you see the amount of pink in that stone? Little pink, little orange, and a little bit of champagne. Ooh, that's good. All right, and top of the hour is also going to bring us those hoops I was telling you about. We have our first hoops with colored gems, and they're the big ones. They're the inch and a half. Very good, very, very, very good. Okay, so coming up, I'm keeping my three rarest. I mean, the irony, right? The irony, I called it out from the beginning. And did somebody get the tansy? Check on the tanzanite. I know we were verifying on that tanzanite. The blue wing black D. So next up, let's get to it. Welcome to Friday. Let's do this really quickly here. We have a request for pink sapphire. I kid you not. Back when I first started in the biz 18 and a half years ago, I bought my first piece of fine jewelry for myself. And it looked just like this. I still have it. I still wear it. I'm kidding you not. It is this ring, except yours has big diamonds on the sides. Mine was all just pave. But this is for Linda, actually. She wanted to see if we had anything in a pink sapphire, but she had a very specific budget that she wanted us to work in. And I'll tell you right now, this is a brand new piece that we brought out for the request. It was not originally in this budget, but we're going to make it happen for you. Okay, Linda. And anybody else who wants a rockin' pink sapphire, well, I'll admit, we don't have a lot of pink sapphires. So how does a company, how does a network that brings you blue wing block D's and pata Ebas and fancy color diamonds, how does a company like that not have pink sapphires? We really don't have that many. I mean, think about it. If you watch the show a lot, even if you watch the show just occasionally, do we really see that many pink sapphires? No, we really don't. So this is the reason why, because you know, they're really, again, we're, we've got very high standards when it comes to our quality. This is item number 4968. It is a 75 point pink sapphire in the hot pink. It also has 47 points in diamond. That is almost the exact diamond weight of mine as well. And I gotta tell you, it's the stone I fell in love with when I really just started. And I was at a network that nobody saw. Trust me, nobody saw it. Um, it was a teeny tiny little place and it's how I, they plucked me from my, my happy home in sports broadcasting and said here while you're sport, cause they were like, your sports broadcasting is only at night. The games are at night. So you can come work for us during the day. I would literally go to a studio in Glendale, California and I would do five hour shows in the daytime and then I'd book it on over. It was really close to Dodger Stadium. So I'd head on right over to Dodger Stadium or 
Staples Center or wherever I was going that day, sometimes USC, sometimes UCLA, sometimes Dodger Stadium, sometimes Lakers, Clippers, whatever. And I was right nearby. So I would then literally go do my sideline reporting right after my show. So I do a five hour home shopping show. And after nine months, I said enough, enough, enough is enough. I'm going back to sports. But then the bigger network hired me and uh, the rest is history. So anyway, point being, when I didn't know the first thing about jewelry, besides the fact I loved it, I fell in love immediately with this color of sapphire. Out of everything I saw, this was what I automatically love and still love to this day. And you just don't see too many because it's a very specific color. Most pink sapphires don't look like this. This is the hot pink. This is the hot, hot pink. And it's got 47 points. You're going to have white gold only on this one because that's the way you want it. Trust me when I tell you. It is the bigger round brilliance on the side, so it gives you a three stone look. Certainly that three stone styling is here and it's supposed to be 2,399. But Linda, she had a request. I'm going to do something wild for you. And here's what it looks like on the diamonds continue down the shoulders. We just don't see too many rings that look like this. Here's what it's all about. And if you love it, give me a call. This is not going to last because she wanted to be in a certain price range. I'll tell you, this is literally not supposed to be there. We're going to bring it there for our last couple of moments of this hour of our Friday. And it's not even going to be watch this. Not even 1999. We're blowing it out. I'm so impressed by those diamonds because you got some really good size diamonds on either side, which are the round brilliance, by the way. So looks amazing, is amazing. Great classic style. We're going to blow it out for $999, but it is white gold only. So that is one I could not recommend more. And it, it takes me back. It really, it does. It takes me back. And I still love that ring just as much as the day that I got it. Of course, now I just add a few other rings to it because it's, you know, I really like, you know, again, you know, styles change over the years, right? I mean, we're not wearing the same stuff we were wearing 20 years ago for the most part, but I will tell you, this is a classic, classic, classic look. And that's why I love this design because it's got the bigger diamond. So it still has that really important three stone feel. And it's only $999 in a time when we don't have many pink sapphires because they get very expensive very quickly. And we are all about value. We're about quality first, but if we can't bring you the quality we insist upon at the value, we just don't bring it at all, which is precisely why you don't see a lot of pink sapphires on this show. It takes a very special example and a very special buy to get you the pinks of a lifetime. So one caller only. It's $999. If you just tuned into the show, first of all, welcome on a Friday. Welcome. We're so glad to have you. But second of all, take a look at this hot, hot, hot pink sapphire for $999. So kind of love that it came right after our wheel because we had to kind of bring it to that level to make it a done deal for you and show you what we can do. So thank you so much. And keep in mind, we have some really special pieces from the first hour. If you're thinking about any and you want to give us a call, that would be a really good idea. I would say before we get to our hoop earrings that are a first for us, let me just remind you of the Paraiba, the huge Paraiba that is such an incredible buy and uh, only here for one caller. And yet it's we had two people already say sold, but neither of them said uh, sold officially. So we do have the Paraiba for you here, which has got the big trillion. So we go from one semi like three stones style to another. And reminder, this Paraiba is one of our best overall values I have for you here. It's just exquisite. It really is exquisite. So I know we've seen this if you were with us the first hour, but for those of you that just tuned in, welcome to the show. Glad you're with us on a Friday. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, it's TV on and Lauren Blair. This is our fabulous Paraiba and it is a major, not almost three carat stone, the gorgeous color, the ideal color, but then it's got these really important diamonds because it's not just about an overall diamond weight. Really want you to look that among those carat 41 in either side, they've got a trillion cut white diamond there. A VS trillion cut white diamond. This ring is one of our best values. I, again, when you see a ring go from $17,000 to $8,888, then to seven, which is right where it should have stopped. I can tell you from having a number of Paraibas on the show, that's where that size with that diamond weight should stop is $69.99, and it didn't. That's why I had to bring it to you. And I, I went so far as to bring it to you in the first hour of a Friday. How foolish was that? <laughs> Thinking it would be gone. And we had two people say yes to the point where they both went, oh, it's already sold. Never mind. So whoever wants it, it's here. And it's $43.99. 
for a $297. That's why I showed it. It's just unbelievable value to me that a stone that size, when you're in the three carat category of Paraiba, and I get it, this is three points shy, that doesn't affect the look. It looks like a three carat. It, on a rainy day, is a three carat. This has those incredible diamonds around it, and it's $43.99. Take a look, then we'll get to our hoop earrings that I've got for you that are brand new. Did you have a question on the pink sapphire? Okay, did she like it? She has to think about it. Okay. So I was pretty proud that we got in her price range because it sure beats $23.99 when something's $9.99 and it should be $2,400. So I'm glad we had that for anybody who wants a pink sapphire deal. That's quite lovely for a hot pink sapphire. They are usually $9,000 a carat wholesale. So keep that in mind. And then here we are with the $43.99 Paraiba. Okay, so coming up, let's talk about the hoops that I was telling you about from the jump. Let's talk about these hoops. So welcome again to our show. We have a very, very special pair of hoop earrings here on the way in love with these. You know I love hoops. Um, we've always done diamonds. We have some big diamond hoops coming up for the weekend as well. So even bigger than the ones I had for you on Monday or Wednesday, Wednesday I think it was. We have some very important hoops here. The largest style that we've ever done actually is a one and a half inch. These are one and a half inch, but this is not just about diamonds. We're actually gonna incorporate color into these hoops for you to give you a little, like a, a refresh or an update or kind of like uh, something a little more just unusual in a hoop earring for certain. And these are still that big size and they're still in and out styling. So they still have all stones in the front, all stones in the inside of the back and they're big gems as well. Let me put it this way, you're getting over five carats of gemstone material, well over five. Well over five carats of total gem material in your hoop. And speaking of this, that's what the price is. The price is gonna be loco. So if you're ready, we got our fabulous Friday off and running here with some big time, big time stinking values. This value, I've done hoops a lot. You know, it's kind of my thing. It's my trademark. It's my, my baby when it comes to really great diamond designs. To mix it up like this is really where the jewelry world is going. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a lot of color right now in the jewelry world. It's not just about diamonds. Diamonds are not going anywhere. Diamonds are here to stay. Don't get me wrong. But it is fabulous right now and very fresh to have color in place of where diamonds usually are. So that is what this hoop gives you. And look at these, they're big too. You guys ready? Take a look, we've never had this before. Never had anything like it and I'm in love. I'm in love, it still gives you diamonds. But those are also diamond cut round sapphires. Are you kidding me? And yes, this is one, this is two. And they are so may to the zing. And you gotta believe this is gonna be one of our Right, I know this looks pretty important and it is, but you know what we've got? Special top of the hour value coming your way on item number 4961. We have never had anything like it. And this is where the jewelry world is going. Talk about, you know, we make jewelry every single day for you. So we are kind of like, again, kind of where you go if you wanna see what's new and fresh and get what's cutting edge and fine jewelry. We are your place. We are your destination. This is four carats, 58 and sapphires. Now sit down and buckle up because it's also 70 points in VS diamonds as well. So you've got, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can sit here and count the diamonds. There are only six diamonds in each earring, 12 in total. No, we've got another one, hold on. This one, there you go. They go all the way, actually four stones and then three stones in the back. So we're just talking about diamonds here. Seven stones, 14 total, just in diamonds, making up your 70 points of VS. And when do you see VS diamonds in earrings? Right here at TV on, only in white gold. I know these look like a million, right? They really do. Give me a call. They would not be at top of the hour unless we could do something sensational for you on the value. That is what I have full intentions to do. I love that you guys are with us on a Friday. One of my favorite days to be with you guys is a Friday. We do these Friday freebie freaky deals and really, really, really bring it. And I'm talking about one of the most luxury earrings. They are one and a half inches in diameter in the super sexy round. And I'm gonna say it because it's Friday. We can do this Club TV on. They are sexy. They are sexy. They are. They're just sexy sapphire hoops for you. And they are shimmering and beautiful because again, the round cutting. That's what makes it, guys. You know, you've seen a lot of sapphires, I'm sure, that don't glisten like this. Thank you. Speaking of shining, look at those nails. Look at those nails. <laughs> See them in the light here. Should I do crystals online? Should I go crystals next time? Yeah. Sunday, Saturday, I don't know, tomorrow. <laughs> okay, got nobody on the lines. Let me just say this. 
don't wait too long. I've got a couple of pairs only. And if you think, oh, they got a couple of pairs, good, I can sit back, take a nap, and call back later. Well, there's this pricing issue. And if you're like me, you're going, I know jewelry. Thanks, Lolo. I know jewelry. And an earring like that, I'm sorry, but you can go ahead and do your discounting, but they're still going to be $6,500. Yeah, you'd be right. <laughs> you'd be right. Sixty-five hundred. After all, have you added up that caraway? Five carats plus. So this is major. And those sapphires are not just regular old sapphires. They got the gleam and royal blue going on. They're not too dark. They're not navy. They're not too inky. I need two people. Just two. Top of the hours here. I know. I know. Top of the hour. Don't have a million of these to go around, but I do have a great value coming your way, and it's not going to be $6,500. I promise you these will sell out. They are white gold only. They are made up and ready to go. They're shipping on Monday morning, and they are one and a half inch. They do, by the way, have my preference, which is the, um, the button style. So the button style is where you're going to have the button to release it. So that's actually no pulling and tugging. You just release it with the button in the back. I'll show that to you. And then to close them, all you do is line them up. They line up for you. It's almost like they close themselves. All you do is just give it a little help, give it a little push. They snap into place. You're good to go. Take a look. They're not 65. You know I'm going to do better. And would you like to see one on? I think so. Let's try them on. If you're not familiar with these big one and a half inchers, we're going to show that to you as well. But let me also, while I'm here, Tony, show them the sides. Because I think, you know, one of the things we don't talk about because we're so, you know, into the stones is look at this. It's also a lot of gold. <laughs> That's the side profile. That's the back. They're finished in the right way. They're mirror, mirror, mirror finished on the sides. This, of course, well, 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 super. Yeah, those are sexy sapphires right there. Uh-oh, nobody's on the phone lines for these yet. One caller. Okay, guys, not 65. I need a couple of callers here. Let me just, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to borrow it. I'm going to try it on. Let's see if this is easy enough to do. Oh, yep, done. That was easy. <laughs> no mirror needed, guys. No mirror needed. These are on, secure, locked. You hear them click into place. And we'll show you what those look like on. Oh, gosh, I'm glad I wore blue tonight. Got all the colors on tonight. James Shore, what do we want to do for them? Take a look at these hoops on the ear here. Whoop, over there. Look at that. How stunning are these? So like we said, it's the big size. Those are the biggest size we've ever done in a hoop, really, when you've got, and I love that they're still wide. They've still got the width, which we love. I mean, color is where it's at. I mean, you can see I've got color in my hoops as well. Color is what it's all about. And still, even from the sides, they're going to look fantastic because they've got all that mirror finished gold. But how beautiful are those earrings? Presents, but again, wearable, but still, still, still fabulous in daily wear. Let's take a look at them close up again. I just wanted you to see those on because those are pretty cool. And they're rock stars. Okay, I got to blow them out. I got one collar. I got two pairs of earrings. You know what? I've been blowing out stuff all night long so far. And I'm just going to keep up. What? I have an outfit ready for it. You have an outfit ready? Okay, one pair is sold to Amanda. We're done. We've got one pair left, Andy. Amanda wants the first pair. I promise you it's less than a car payment. Maybe, well... Well, it depends. On, I don't know. It depends on the, she got a new car over there. So I don't know. It depends. On, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's not even make them. You know what? I got to get one more caller on the line. And now I got to worry about getting them affordable. For, Amanda wants a deal. She wants a deal. She works here. She's a friend. Let's do this. Not even 3250. That's half off. I'm not going to go 3000. I'm not going to go 2000. I'm giving hoops away. You know, we do hoops in diamonds like this that are major money. This is sapphires and diamonds together. You are getting so much fabulous. What, you got a carat and a third, five carats and a third of, of total gem weight here. Solid 14 carat gold. I'm blowing them out right now. White gold only, blow them out. I want you to have them. They're not even $19.99, $18.99, $17.99, no. We're gonna make these the most affordable hoop for that size ever seen. $17.77 if you want them. We got one pair gone, one pair left. That is it, $17.77. And again, diamond cut, blue sapphires. Those are the finest, those are the royal blues. And then you got those fabulous bigger diamonds as well, scattered throughout four white diamonds, every set really kind of sectioned out in the front. And then you got the three diamonds in the back because they tend to put a few, uh, a few, uh, a few fewer stones in the back because you got all the gold and the hinge and all that. So, but you saw on, you see, see nothing but stones, nothing but stones. When you look at these head on and face on, all you see are stones. Those are too cool. Maybe they're a little, they're a little too cool. 
1777 now we got cool customers so one gone one left that's it on the sapphires good luck thank you so much i'm glad they were here for you something new and fresh in hoop earrings that we don't get to do all the time so let's see what's next we got a really special value and i think you know what we just go ahead and show you something really fun and fabulous and fresh i got new i got new today so i know it's kind of uh I i'm kind of you know kind of into the new that we've got some fresh ideas for you not the same old same old take a look at this how about a really cool emerald ring the bypass but it's open take a look at this what do you guys think of this emerald and i will give you a little heads up over the weekend if you care to join us we actually have a bracelet that's going to go with this um, pretty nicely not an exact match but something very similar so if you like uh, the look in the ring certainly stay tuned for a little arm candy as well coming up over this weekend because we've got shows all weekend long for you during our daytime but look at how beautiful this is item number is four, uh, 4964 and it's yellow gold only it's a beautiful Colombian emerald it's got 26 points in VS diamonds as well the bigger diamond cluster there on the one end looking like a marquise cut isn't it it does but you've got a beautiful Colombian. i don't have a weight on the Colombian emerald right here in front of me but i'll show it to you on the hand because i think you're going to be impressed by this the size is really pretty and this again i i hope you're into like some new i hope again if anybody's looking for something like what's new what's fresh like if you're looking to upgrade update if you feel like maybe the jewelry you just i think that's what's so much fun about getting jewelry is it's such such style pieces that usually the jewelry can give you that little kind of, I think so many of us want just that little kick because we've been cooped up and we're just ready and we're ready to go out and have a good time. And when we do, we want to look fabulous and feel fabulous. And we want to have something updated. I think we don't want to look like we did five months ago when the last people, well, last time people saw us, right? And I think there's something to be said about kind of something new in the jewelry world. Like what's going on now? What's current for 2020, right? And, and really it's, it's these kind of styles, delicate but power. So what do I mean by that? Because you've got a delicate piece here, but it's still powerful in its own way, but it's because of the design and the way it wraps around your finger that it really does have this kind of really pretty, super, super cool, fun feeling to it, but it's really easy to wear. It's not complicated, it's not complex, it's not something you have to look at and you go, oh yeah, maybe next time, oh, maybe next time. If you have those pieces, I have those pieces, where I go, yeah, but I'm not feeling like super, this is just wearable. It's artwork and jewelry, but it's really wearable. May I suggest like a pinky ring even? I think it'd look really super cool that way. Take a look. I'm going to let you price it. I'm just going to see who's out there. I'm going to go zero to start $100 increments and we're going to try it. <laughs> okay? I've got a, I've got a $22.99 price tag on it. I want to see what you think. I'm going to go zero to start with $100 increments. Zero. I haven't done a zero to start auction in probably two years. We're going to go now. Zero to start, $100 increments, and we're going to get you on the lines. And if I got to sell it at 100 bucks, so be it. You know, we'll do it. We'll do it. It's $22.99, and I want to show it on because you're probably going, but I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen it. How does this work? How is, is it complicated? Is it going to stay? It's not closed like all my other rings are. All my other rings meet in the middle, and they're closed. Still wearable, still easy once and for all look at this do you see what i'm saying about it kind of works like it looks like you have a big diamond there on the one side and then these multi shapes by the way i have a diamond ring that i just got recently and it's literally an emerald cut and a pear shape and they don't meet just like this yeah and i'm so in love with it and there's a few of the tastemakers out there the style mavens that also do that kind of look big diamonds in different shapes together you know who i'm talking about uh do we have a hundred oh we have a hundred good we have a hundred dollars it's a very quiet hundred but we have it it's here it's official so there's the other way there's the other direction so we do have a hundred and a hundred going once who else wants does anybody else want to come in to play it's a lot of gold it's a beautiful bright muso colombian we got two thousand two hundred dollars okay two hundred sorry freudian slip it's just a habit guys we should be at two thousand dollars for that ring am i right and we still wouldn't be to the TV on price, but that's okay. We're at $200. Who do you have there, Amanda? Maria. Maria's at $200. And everyone's dropping out except Anthony. You got three. We got 300. Who do you have? Am I being too nosy? Hi, Carla. Where's she calling from? She's where? At, did you say? Okay, AL. He said Atlanta. <laughs> not a state, not yet. No, nope, not yet. All right. Do we have 400? 400 dollars we have. 400. Okay, guys. And it is yellow gold only. 
I hope that doesn't deter anybody because that's kind of how we love our emeralds. Emeralds in yellow gold, they're, they, look, oof, they look super fantastic together. It's such a fun ring. We're going to size it for any size you need. So like here or here or here or here, you could play with it. I wish I had more. I, I, if I had more, I would say stack them, right? Stack them together, put them together, layer them up. But you could still do that with another ring. I mean, it's just the offset nature of the design makes it actually stackable. I mean, you got to think outside the box with jewelry now. You know, it's not just put a band on your hand anymore. It's all about layering up and making them yours and finding new fun ways to wear your jewelry designs to make it look like you, to make yourself individual because you are. You're not like anybody else. So you can show that off with your jewelry. Uh, I'm going to give it a final call here. <laughs> well, this was an interesting idea. We haven't made a lot of progress, but that's probably because I started at nothing. So here's what I'll do. I'll give it a final two minutes and we're stuck at four. At the moment, we're stuck at four, right? Yes, we are stuck at four. Okay. We're stuck at $400. We're gonna give it a final, final call. This is how this works if you've never participated in an auction before. I can tell you this, it's one of your homes for the greatest value. I mean, our price normally on this ring is $2,300, so there. But this is where, again, you're making up your own price. Right now, we've only got $400. We're looking for five or more. And what we do now is give it two minutes and sell it to cheap. When the two-minute clock hits zero, that's when it's gone. This ring's hot. Forget about that bracelet coming over the weekend. I think the bracelet is set to go out at 4,600 and it's basically this style, but with a bangle. So I don't know if that's gonna still be on tap because this is going too low. Let's take our final look at it. Be my guest, call us up and you can go ahead. And remember it is yellow gold only you guys. So that's, I usually I can change them. This one I cannot. I'm in a heap of trouble here. <laughs> so we're at four. And we're looking for five and oh my goodness let's see if we've got five hold on we'll see where we're at here this is too good right let me try it on one more time i gotta try it on one more time we have got to we've got to show this to you on the hand and show you how yeah I'm, I'm thinking i need to do that james i i agree and you know what we're gonna size it for you but still it's got a little bit of flexibility a little bit so you can cut because again it doesn't meet i'm not saying it's like a it's not an adjustable ring. It's not like, you know, Cracker Jack jewelry. It's not like that, but it does if you need to, if it needs to stretch a little bit one day or cinch a little bit the other day, it does that. It can do that. You just give it a little push or give it a little pull. It's totally fine. You can totally do that. So we have a final minute left and then it's sold. What the heck did I do on this one? This was a very bad idea. Yeah. Uh, let me see what the current size is, actually. I'm going to take it away from you for a moment. I hate to do that, but i got to check the size on it. It is a size right now, six and a half. It's a six and a half at the moment. But again, you can have a little bit of a, probably I would say a half size range, depending on, you know, if you, like I said, expand it or cinch it, because it is, think of like a cuff bracelet, and gold is malleable. You're not going to hurt the gold by giving it a little pinch or a little bit of a tug. So you've got the little range of size, which is great, because if you're like so many of us, where one day, and it's 150 degrees outside with, you know, 90% humidity, you need a little extra room. And then when it gets winter time and it's freezing, you might go down a half a size. So you've got that almost flexibility built in. And we've got a very comfortable, very wearable, very high fashion ring. And then it's still got premium diamonds with a gorgeous Colombian emerald. So what gives? Uh, do we have $500, yes or no? Let's see what we've got. I, I tell you, I just tried it to see who was out there and what we were feeling like tonight. And I think I've got my answer here. So let's see. Hey, James. Um, let's see if we have 500. I think we might. Yes? No? Let's make it official here. Sold. Congratulations. That's gone. That is gone. Well, 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 well. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was interesting. And I do have emerald earrings, but I suppose this is not the time to show them to you. Oh, I have this really pretty, let me preview that Fawn Diamond one more time. I've honestly never seen a Fawn Diamond this strong in the Fawn. Look at how beautiful that is, right? Pinks, a little bit of orange, golden, and champagnes, and that stunning cut. This is coming up tonight in the show. So I just want to let you know, give you a little heads up and preview on that one so you know it's on the way and you don't want to miss it. That's a very, very special idea. Loving that, right? It's beautiful. So that's coming up and that'll be our Fawn Diamond. That's a half carat stone in the pear shape. Also coming up in this show. Well, I'm not going to shy away from the big museum pieces. I won't. I do also have this something to think about here. 
one of our, oh, this is all about the blue wing block D. Simple, straightforward, yet it's still a bridge mounting. That is a six carat 31 blue wing 42, 42 actually is going to be that one coming up. Isn't that something with that blue wing ultraviolet neon color? It's right there. That's looking good. So that's our 631 coming up in the show. 631 with 26 points in diamonds. They go right down the middle, right underneath that stone. And look at those colors coming through. So you know, if you need a big stone, I've had a lot of people say lately, I like a big stone, but I don't need a lot of extra. I don't need two carats and diamonds. I don't need it to be a bridge. I don't need it to be, this one is, but when we say that, we don't need it to be too thick or too heavy. This kind of has a little bit more of a tapered bridge, so it gives you all the fabulous qualities we love of a bridge and the way that the stones run underneath, and you can appreciate the stone from all the angles, but it's not a big, heavy, cumbersome ring. It's got a really nice tapered band, so it fits very much like your, your typical rings do. So I, I know that's been a request of late, so I wanted to make that for you. Also have a yellow diamond on the way, and we have some really fabulous Alexandrite, and I do have some brand new. We've got some Russian de Montoy. We've got a major fond diamond ladies ring. We've got that Pata Iba. That Pata Iba is one of my standouts, and the fact it's still here is exciting. This is the Pata Iba. I'm just gonna show that one more time. I can't believe we still have it here to share with you, but that is a major piece right there. And then I've got a purple diamond coming your way. So let's get this one home. I've got the value that is going to make this a done deal once and for all. And somebody was asking for the big hoops. Hi, Carla. Carla want to see, does she not have the big hoops yet? Oh, okay. These are kind of like a must have. You know, if you're like a TV on shopper and you like value, I don't know if she has these yet. This is the same size diameter wise as the purple or the blue sapphires with the white diamonds. But these are my favorite hoop we do all out. This is our item number is 3063. They are two carats of one of VS diamonds. We had a quick request to see these earrings, but I think probably brought on by the fact we had sapphires and diamonds. If you just want to go straight up diamonds, look at this. I got the yellow gold, I have the white gold to show you. How hot is that? Actually, I may borrow one of each and show them to you on so you can see because I always love to show this because I, I, honestly, when you see these on, you can't really tell what gold color is which. <laughs> That's what my favorite thing to show you is you don't really see the gold color because it's all diamonds. Right now, we're looking slightly down on the earrings so you tend to see. So let me go ahead. I'm just borrowing these, you guys, because I'm going to try these on for you. But I love that we have the white and the yellow. Now, we can do rose as well. We're one of the few retailers. Uh, well, I hate to call us a retailer, but you get the idea. One of the few jewelers in the world that have the ability to do rose gold. And so if you're trying to either complete the collection or you've been looking for the elusive rose gold hoop, I know that can be difficult to find in the world at large. What's that? We got a requester, I love it, thank you. I'm gonna try these on for you in the white and in the yellow. Those are the only two I have here to show you in the studio. But you can imagine what they look like in the rose because they're fabulous as well. We know that rose gold gives almost like a, almost a pinky hue almost to the way that these diamonds look then because you got the VS white diamonds. So the white diamonds tend to, they, they can tend to pick up a little bit of the gold color. And uh, this is why we use the best of the best in white diamonds for you. I just want to show you here. This is what I'm talking about with the, um, see, you can't, I don't even know which is which. <laughs> That's my point. When you see these earrings, and I do have on a white and a yellow. I do. I think it was the yellow gold back here. Let's, let's look. Let's see if we can. Yes. Yellow gold up top, white gold at the base. So here's how this works, you guys. That really proves my point, is that when you see these head on, the gold color is almost not relevant. You just see diamonds. And that's the way a diamond hoop is done right, when you just see diamonds. And of course, these are VS diamonds, so they look amazing, right? They're incredible VS diamonds. They sparkle. They're wide. They're exactly as wide as the hoop is itself. So you get this amazing, beautiful, bright, amazing fiery quality. But you know, I will tell you, these look like larger than two carats of one. They really do. They do look larger. I will tell you as a hoop expert, 
I will tell you those look like more than two carats because of the width of the diamonds themselves. These are not little tiny, tiny accents. These are serious diamonds and we've got the white and the yellow. Again, the rose gold is an option for you. They're one and a half inch. This is the largest size we do. I highly recommend getting these if you can. And it would not be, it would, I would not be afraid to leave the house like that either. Cause that's, I mean, that's actually a look you can do. It's a look. All right, you guys ready? We'll go back to our wheel. They're not even going to be. You know these diamonds are 12000 a carat in retail. That means $25,000 for the earrings because you got to factor the diamonds and the gold and the labor. They've got this great open style. So all you do to open them up is just lift and pull. So it's a slight lift and tug. And then snap them into place. You do this without looking. I just put them on live TV while talking to you without looking. No mirror, no nothing, no help, no assistance, no nothing. It's just easy. There's white or yellow for you. They're not 2,500. <laughs> so we already went 90% off what a very fair retail would be. And they're not $2,500. And they're also not even $2,000, making them already insanity in diamonds, right? There is no value like this one. These are requested. I will tell you right now, this is where you go. If you know you can handle a large hoop, this is where you go. This is iconic VS diamond hoop material, solid gold, white, yellow, or rose. They're not 19. They're not 18.99. We're blowing them out right now for $1,888. And if you can get a pair, you will live in these earrings. And you will have the earring that is the envy of all your friends and the envy of all your fellow jewelry lovers, even just passerbys and perfect strangers and family members and your close circle of friends because you are wearing the VS material here and they are second to none. So we've got them for you in the yellow gold or the white gold you choose. It's whatever you prefer. And rose gold, also an option. The white and the, um, the, white and the yellow are ready to go. It's the rose gold that might take a moment to make them. I will tell you, give us a couple extra days if you want the rose gold. There they are together in the white. Then we'll show you the yellow. Did you say yellow gold? All right, yellow gold going out first and foremost. And again, like if you're only yellow gold, just don't worry because what you saw there was the yellow gold doesn't, doesn't, you saw them side by side, a white gold, a yellow gold, it doesn't make the diamonds look any lesser quality when they're in the yellow gold. And sometimes that happens, but it's because we start and use such strong, incredible diamonds that you don't have to compromise even when they're in the yellow gold. So if yellow gold's your thing, and that tends to be a deal breaker when it comes to hoops, because suddenly the diamonds don't look so great, or maybe it's just that they're not great diamonds to begin with, right? That can also be the case. This is just very, very affordable. Under $1,000 a carat for premium diamonds just does not happen. This is one of our miracle values, and I would take advantage before the price goes up because it is going up. Gold is going up. Diamonds are going up. That is an entire earring that's made of nothing but gold and diamonds. So keep that in mind. They got to go up at some point. Take advantage of the price because we can't have that price forever and ever and ever. So if you know you love them, if you know you want to try them, remember if you're new, you've got a full money back guarantee to make sure that those are something you're going to live in and that you love them because I know it's easy to look at that price and go, oh gosh, how good could they be? Well, let me tell you, these are the kind of hoops that I live in and insist upon. And I will tell you, I'm, I'm somebody who lives in hoops. This is not just a once a week kind of thing for me. This is something I live in. And I'm really, really, really always have been a stickler about my hoop earrings. So this is really, again, where you're getting this beautiful but wearable. There's nothing about this earring that size-wise makes it, I, again, you got to be comfortable in a large hoop. This is the largest size we do. But if you are, I think you've got, got it made here. I think this is the value and this is where you go. And you take advantage of it and really, really important value for you. And we'll give it 60 seconds and thank you so much. Yes. The request is from a kid who can't wait, who has one in every size that and doesn't have yellow. I was wondering about that. So she does have the other sizes already, yes. but now she went for the big ones. Yep. Perfect. I love it. Thank you so, so, so much. Well done. Very good. So she's got all, she's got the whole TV on collection now. And now she's got her first yellow gold. Is that what I heard too? Yeah, that's good too, because you know, if you, you want to match, I always do. I always, that's why I got different hoops in different colors, because I always want to match. <laughs> even if it doesn't show that much, even if the gold is not what shows the most, you do want to have it match, right? I, at least I'm a weirdo about that. Uh, you are too. I mean, go like down to the hardware in the bag. Like the bag, if the bag's got a certain color hardware, I got to match the jewelry to the bag. You don't have no idea how long I go back. I'll go back to the closet, go get a different bag, because I'm wearing yellow gold jewelry, but that bag I wanted to wear has. So uh, we'll get into my neuroses later, you guys. That's a whole nother show. But anyway, 1888 if you'd like them. And we've got a couple pairs remaining. That's our all-time, all-time best and largest hoop. And uh, 
I recommend them highly. I really do. I think that is an amazing first purchase. I think that's a great uh, complete your hoop wardrobe like she just did. I think that's a great idea. Thank you so much. All right. So next up, we got another wheel. I've got all these diamond pieces. You want to just get them at home, like get them out of here forever and ever. Uh, I think we should do that. We also have, if anybody's looking for a chameleon, I know all of our big chameleons have gone lately. And I know some, some of you might be a little mad at me because we got this brand new one in. So I'm going to share it with you. There happens to be one of our bigger ones. I think our biggest ever, I think, I think. And actually the funny part about this, this stone looks like a two and a half carat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is something. Don't be mad. It just came in today. <laughs> I know some of our biggest collectors have chameleon diamonds and I speak to them on a regular basis and, and they love them. Uh, but I got to tell you, this is our big one. It's item number 4979. So for anybody who doesn't have one yet, because I think it's telling that some of my longest time collectors who've been shopping with me for a long time and some that are newer as well, but our collectors in their own right go straight to the chameleons. I think that tells you something about this incredible rarity that these stones bring. I mean, this is true. It's really, uh, again, something the GIA doesn't get to see very often, but uh, since we had a few, we did have the GIA certify them. So this is not just us talking about this rare color shifting diamond, but it's actually the GIA who's gone ahead and, oh yeah, look at this. Here's your full GIA certificate. So there it is, we open it up and here's the good stuff over here. It's a carrot 33, fancy grayish yellow green. It really does look like a green, almost like a green blue, because we know, we know what happens sometimes when you actually mix these colors together. To me, I see in person a lot of actually like a green blue. The GIA, obviously, very strict about their grading, calls it all these different colors that are really mixed together. It is a BS1. It is a huge size. It is um, actually, again, look at those comments. So I just wanted to point out, this is really the GIA and how they describe chameleon diamonds. And by the way, it is inscribed. You can see above there, it says GIA 620-778-3326. That is your inscription, or is it 2826? I'm not sure. Um, but this is actually important because that's inscribed on your stone. So not something you're ever going to see without a loop, but it is inscribed. So always the stone will match up with this cert. And these are all on file and on record at GIA. It says the color of the stone changes temporarily when gently heated. You don't need to put it in an oven. We're not talking about that. We're just talking about like, you know, hot rooms, hot cars, and then go back into the closet or the safe where it's like in the darkness. You see the color change, which is known as chameleon. So it really goes from this grayish, greenish, yellowish to more of a stronger, almost yellow orange. So it's kind of a golden color. I know we have a photograph of it, so we can show that if you need to see it, but I'll tell you what, that is a certified Carat 33. If you're a collector and you want to have this material, and here's a, this also, by the way, this is a great graphic because this shows you what it looks like when it goes directly from green. That's assuming you start with a green. As the GIA said, this is really green, grayish yellow green, which is a very unusual combination, and I think beautiful. And um, overall, it looks kind of like a light blue. So that's, again, a little different. You can see, but still, the color changes what it's going to go to. So I want you to see this in person now. And what we have here is less stark green, and it's more of that blue green. Is It really is how it looks just to the layman. Obviously, the GI is certified it as fancy grayish yellow green. This is really, to me, it's got a very blue green type of look, which I think is stunning. It's brilliant. The cert's going to come with it for free because we went to bat for you, we got that cert done for you. And this ring, which is a VS1 stone, also has 36 points in diamonds around it. It's got the full wide band. I think it's the first time we've seen a chameleon in a wide band like this as well. So fully finished, of course. Look at the, I think what everyone has asked me about with these stones, because I haven't had anyone purchase one without coming to me first and saying, tell me about it in person. You know, and I think that's really important because these are investment stones. They are certainly important stones. And I will say, this has so much fire. It's not just about the rare color and the rare color shifting properties, it's about the fiery quality. So again, if you are a collector and you'd like to have one, this is, to my knowledge, the biggest one we've had. And uh, it is a fabulous piece. And I'm gonna try it on and we're gonna get it home because believe it or not, it's not even going to be the $22,599 it's asking for tonight. I've got a change in the price tag and look at this on. And that's what I ask you to look at is look at the fire. Look at just focus just if for a moment on just the center. Look at the fire. 
That is some serious, serious sparkle on one of my favorite colors I've seen because it's not just green and it's not just yellow. And you saw the cert. It's got those colors together. So to me, it looks more blue green than anything else. And that's intriguing. So newly acquired and no longer is it 22,600. And this is only its first time out the gate. If I do this right, it'll be the last time you see it as well until you get it at home, right? That's the idea. This can be on its way to your house and take a look. This one just arrived. First time seeing it tonight, brand new tonight, comes with the cert for free. We don't charge you extra for this. This is already done on this incredible, incredible stone, which is one of the rarest. And the way this shifts in color for a long, long time, GIA never had them to certify because nobody came across them in nature. And I mean, right, nothing can be duplicated in labs like this either. So think about that with all the technology in the world today, they're not duplicating these kind of chameleon stones in labs. They can't synthesize them. They can't simulate them. This is just, you know what my thing is? Because I've, I've been so lucky in my career to have a lot of rare stones, but ultimately I'm a jewelry gal. So if it's rare, that's great. But if it's not beautiful, I'm not gonna wear it. And I think there's a fine line that a lot of rare stones walk where stones that are really, really rare aren't always beautiful. They aren't always wow pieces in jewelry. And I think, you know, and, and gem collecting is one thing when you're collecting them loose. I think when you're buying it set into a precious metal with other diamonds on the sides, I think you want it to be gorgeous. That's what this stone is. And that's why I'm so intrigued by it. It's a gorgeous stone, but it's got all of this rarity at the same time. So not 22,000, if you'd like, I'm just gonna blow it out. This is what we do on Fridays. This is what we're doing. We're bringing you the best value that is possible in jewelry, and it's right here. One caller in the world, take a look at it. 22,000, it's not. I'm gonna blow it out right now, and that is a stunning, stunning gem. And is it ever delivering the sparkle? It really, really is. Only one caller. We're going to blow it out right now. I'm not even going to ask for $10,000 because I wanted to get a home. I really wanted to get a home. It's not going to be $99.99. First caller. That is just a beautiful, fancy diamond. It's a fancy color too. But it's got the ability to change its color as a chameleon does. Chameleons change based on their environment. This is going to change based on its temperature. I'll do it right now for $8,000. $888, because I really would love to see that one go to your house and for you to see it in person just like we are. That's the stone. That's the stone right there. 8888. One color only. Good luck. And we can change the gold color if you'd like. Ooh, I'm just imagining white gold. Oh, gosh. Now I can't decide. Boy, don't ask me. I can't even get you a recommendation on that white or yellow. I don't know. That's just perfect either way. So let me know two very different looks, whether you want the white or the yellow. I don't know. I can't decide which I would prefer. I would say no to rose, but boy, white would be intriguing. I would love to see that in the white gold. So think about it. 8888. It's a museum piece. And we kind of sprung that on you here, but it's a really important style. And speaking of natural diamonds that are really affordable for their fancy nature, I've got a rare pink purple they're calling it a pink i say it's a lavender let's look at it together and then you decide but this is really again the mystery of pink diamonds all this here the mine is almost out the argon mine in australia is almost mined out right and yet they don't know what makes these colors do you realize that they don't know they don't know exactly what makes these stones pink or purple so you have a really cool gem that's a bit of a gemstone mystery on the pinks it's item number three two two five it's one of a kind as it is. Now, this is a way to go real super affordable, and I mean crazy affordable. I'm going to turn somebody into a collector overnight here with just one ring, and that is a pink purple. I would say it's purple. That's my take on it. It's a 21-pointer, which is actually huge in the world of pink diamonds. It's also a heart shape, so a true bona fide heart shape. It's got the subtle cleft there, which is wrapped into rose, and it's got the double halo in the dome style. Same dome style we just saw, except it's got two halos instead of one. From the last one, I'll tell you what it's as it is white and rose together 34 points in vs white diamonds as well fully finished on the inside and there's only one and this is where i'll tell you look at the brilliance we we're just talking about that with the chameleon look at the brilliance this purple diamond delivers look at the brilliance look what you got there going on that's important that's impressive it's not just about the color but this is flashing as well usually we forgive the clarity on a stone like this because it is a rare color here you get the rare color but you still get a lot of flash which here's what i'm going to do i'm going to blow it out let's see who's really 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 keen on a pink diamond or a purple diamond this is it guys 
I tell you what I'm going to do right now. Since I'm so, I, I know we just saw the museum piece and the brand new chameleon. Let's bring this and deliver to you value that is second to none. I'm just going to get it at home. And I know this is a lot of gold as well. This is not just about the diamond. This is a lot of gold. VS Diamonds as accents as well. Fully finished. Comfortable ring. Heart shape, which makes it the perfect sentimental piece if you want to treat yourself or maybe gift it to a loved one. How sweet would that be? I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to make it $14.99 just to get it a home. I got to do something to make sure you're wowed, right? Because I've had the wows. Take a look at this. $14.99 on a 21-point purple diamond. That's amazing. That does not happen. And let me remind you, they're natural stones. This is not treated together. That is from the Argyle Mine, which is closing any day now. And that is for one caller. I don't know. 14. I'm just going to try it. I just got to make sure you're with us and ready to get take advantage of these values because I'm throwing them out there. We're putting them out there, guys. $14.99. Wow, it's one of the most affordable rings I have in the entire show tonight. <laughs> it's only for one caller. So let me know if you want it. We'll get to our 6 carat 31 tansy here as well. We've got a similar mounting with a yellow diamond. If you want to go a little larger, we got a one carat yellow diamond. That's kind of fun. Museum wheel coming your way. We got a museum must go wheel, loving that. So final, final call, plus we have our big tanzanite drop earrings. We do have one of those multicolored designer rings as well. So lots to get to, 14, nine. okay, I give up. That's here? No, I can't believe it. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna, that, that's, that's a little stunning to me. That's a little stunning, what? No way, who got two earrings? Is Susan gonna wear them like I did? Is that why she got two? Because if so, I'll put in four. I can put in five on the other ear. Does she want to see that? We can do five. <laughs> just kidding. Susan, thank you so much. I doubt it. I doubt it. I just, yeah, I just, you know, I couldn't help, right? Because I did stack them up. Did you see that, Joyce? I stacked them up. I can do five. If you bring me a few more, I can do five on the one ear. I can. You can see what five, one and a half. Think about that, though. How many diamonds would that be? Two carats. Yeah, that'd be four and a half, five carats in diamonds. Well, yeah, they're a carat apiece. All right. I, I got to be honest, that, that's shocking to me. That's shocking to me. $14.99 for a purple diamond that's almost a quarter carat. Shocking. Okay. <laughs> Let's try something else. We'll try something else. Okay, fancy colored diamonds. We've shown you those. Uh, I do have that fawn diamond, which is also here. I got a big Coonsite pendant if you'd like to see it. We have our largest here, Santa Maria. Got a big time tansy deal. Well, well, well. And I do have a pink diamond that is certified. So if you want to go certified on your pink diamond, I do have a 36 pointer. And GI calls it a brown pink. This is a pink purple. So just a heads up there. Something to think about. Give us a call. I just think that is one of our best. <laughs> okay. Make it a dollar. First caller. I got to sell it. I got to sell it. A do no, a, do a dollar, no, a dollar. First caller, there we go. <laughs> Just in case they're watching on mute, Tony, we'll put it up there. A dollar, first caller, I don't know. What are we gonna do? I gotta sell it to somebody. Well, all right, we got a winner. That is a winner, right? Who's got it, Amanda? Whoa, she got something earlier. Well, no, what? She, you know what I bet she did? I bet she had us on speed dial because she already, right? That's the way to do it. She got, Nancy, congratulations. She got something earlier. So I bet she just, if it's the same gal, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's a different Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Enjoy. Enjoy. I'm still going to size it for you. What, what can I do? I just got to make sure these pieces go. All right. So continuing on with the blowouts, I've got Pata Eva earrings here. Pata Eva earrings. Well, at least we know how many of you have with us tonight. That's good to know. Thank you, Nancy. Enjoy and way to go. She got the speed dialing going on. Take a look. Now, this is rare. I know this is unusual and unexpected. We have some really special Paraiba earrings here for you. This is wild. They're round Paraibas. Okay. This is where I'm going to keep this discount and going, you guys. Okay. We got to keep this going. I got to keep it going somehow. I mean, my gosh. <laughs> This is really special. We're going to show you item number 4686, which are Pata Eba rounds. Look at this. Wowza. Okay. Pata Eba rounds, diamond cut, 
And the ultimate, yeah, we still have the ring here too. If you need that big ring, this will go really nicely with that ring. We had the three carat stone that we had earlier for Will Under, yeah, Will Under 4,500. But this is actually where you get your Pata Eva rounds. They are actually going to be 33 points in diamonds surrounding them as well. And we've only got, oh no, we've only got three pairs. Yeah. Maybe the Nancy said you got your She did. There, uh, that's a third Nancy we've heard from tonight, you think, right? Or a second one. I, Nancy, wonderful. Which paw ring did she get? The big signet paw? The dome style? Okay, Nancy, thank you so much. I know those paw rings are very special, aren't they? Love that. Thank you, Nancy, for calling and letting us know. I mean, she was really calling for the, the dollar ring, right? <laughs> but while I'm on the line, let me tell you about my paw ring. All right, thank you, Nancy. Enjoy it. Wear it well. Um, this is going to be 33 points in VS Diamonds. The Pata Evas are diamond cut rounds. We're going to blow them out. I only have three pairs for everybody. White, yellow, or rose are up to you. But this is a stud with some serious flair to it, right? Because you don't see a lot of Pata Eva rounds that are matched up to perfection like this. And you've got those stunning VS Diamonds as well. And we are going to, you know what? I got I to gotta follow suit here. Like this is major, major, major value going on all night. And just to make sure we're actually finding these pieces homes, I tell you, these are supposed to be $22.99. Uh, what I've got for you is a little different. We're going to blow them out right now. And this is truly one of the rarest stones in the world, right? When you actually compare Pata Ibas, Pata Ibas are actually oftentimes compared to fancy colored diamonds, even though diamonds are really their own category and then colored gems are a separate category, right? Those are the two categories really that gemstones, you know, diamonds are kind of a different deal. But when you get fancy colored diamonds, very, very rare. When you get Pata Ibas, that goes to the rarest of the colored stones out there. In a tourmaline, in a fabulous look, these of course are rounds, which make them superstars. I'll just blow them out right now. I know this is kind of rare to have a Pata Eva earring in the first place. It's really, really special to get these stones perfectly matched like this. Otherwise, we wouldn't bother. That's why usually we don't have a lot of earrings because you just can't match them up. It's an impossibility. So right now, I'm not going to do $9.99. I see how we're going. Uh, we're going to go ahead and blow these out right now. And they're not $9.99, which we're already under cost. Indeed, by a ways. I only have three pairs. That's white. That's yellow. That's rose. It's going to be completely up to you, your choice but they're not nine and they're not eight and they're not $799 for genuine rare Pata Eva tourmalines in a diamond cut round. I'll make them 777 while they last. Take a look. Three pairs and three pairs alone. See what I'm doing? I mean, I'm, I'm trying. We're doing everything on discount. I learned that early on tonight where you guys want the values to be. So we're going extra, extra, extra on everything. And 777, the way to shop right there. Congratulations. We still have the chameleon. We still have the blue sapphire earrings, the hoops. Those were kind of fun and cool and different. We still have our pink sapphire. And uh, we still have, now Jess, do we still have that big oval bypass ring? We do. Okay, I want to show that too. Okay, so I do want to show this to you. Thank you. One pair gone, two pairs gone, one pair left. Let me show you on the hand here how these look. These are so beautiful, right? This is not a, it's not a huge earring. It's going to be an everyday wearable earring but it does give you flash and sparkle beyond. Of course, at the core of it is that pot of Eva we love, but you get a diamond cut stone here, which is so fabulous. Let me know who's got the last pair. This is it, one pair left, and then they're sold out forever. We just don't get a lot of rounds. And again, rounds, diamond cut, matched up like this, tough to do, but only $777 to get your pair. There, I don't have a carat weight actually on the stones. I don't, I apologize for that. I don't have a carat weight, but I can tell you this. Here's the millimeter size on them, which will help us out a little bit. They are fabulous rounds. Again, it's really about the rounds and the cutting here. It's really tough material to get. So we, we generally aren't too choosy about the Pata Eva carat weights. If we have them, we're considered lucky. They are three millimeter stones each. So that is the diameter on that round. So usually that equates to about can be about 10 or 15 points there so really really well done and only one pair left all right thank you isn't that wild three millimeters tony yeah oh okay all right bypass ring coming up do you know this one fascinates me. We have a pinky diamond. We have a white diamond, both in big ovals. And it's still here hanging out for somebody. So we'll show that to you. I'm thinking we show you the fawn diamond. I'm thinking we just go for it. We just go for it. It's one of my best. 
And we do have this huge bypass, which really is a pinky fawn diamond. I'm gonna let you decide here, because this one, again, is one of our really fabulous designer rings. And what it has around it, which I think you're seeing the second part here, the top half of the ring, as you see it now, is a really, let me, let me I'm gonna turn it around, just because that way you're gonna see that stone better. Take a look. Now, I'm gonna do something else. We're gonna come in and just look at that oval for a second, just the one. I know you know what white diamonds look like. I want you to look at this diamond, this stunning diamond. Now, to me, when I look at that diamond, that is a peach pink diamond. I mean, right? It is a stunning, and it's huge. It's a carat 43 among the two ovals, so that means 70 plus points each. So it's almost three quarters of a carat. And what's around it, I think, is fascinating because those are yellow and pinks around it. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's not your eyes. It is actually yellows and pinks assorted in the rose gold around what I think is a peach diamond. It's got a little bit of pink. It's got a little bit of orange. It's all natural material. And take a look now at the other half, because this ring is wild. I was measuring this before the show. It's a full inch wide when this sits on the hand. It is 143 in the ovals. It is also 128 in the side diamonds. The item number is 4711. So it is an impressive, impressive piece. It really, truly is. Item number is 4711. It is a carat 43 just in the two ovals that are basically top and bottom in this bypass ring. It is a massive ring, but it does taper nicely in the back. Look at that, it's truly half and half. That split <laughs> is always fascinating because it's just, I love that. We're still gonna size it for you and keep the split intact. Half rose, half white gold, fully finished under gallery, you saw that. And then the split shank leading up to the double halo in the ovals. This ring, I don't believe it, down to it. Even lower price than I've had it before. I love that. Well, 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 take advantage of it tonight. That is only $3,999, a brand new low on our fabulous pink and white combo nation. It is a pretty ring too, isn't it? That is wild how it really does. Watch how this plays across the hand because I think that's one of the more fascinating things about this ring is the way it is so wide. It all, look at that, that's a huge, if you just had one half of the ring, let's just say block this portion, that's a wild ring right there. But to have the two pieces come together and nest like that, they don't actually meet. They're not actually attached. There's a true bypass style going on here. But look at those beautiful diamonds. And I love that that pinky, peachy, orangey diamond at the top is actually surrounded by pink and yellows. That is something you have not seen before on this show. And look at that ring, how it came out is just stunning. And of course, 128 on the sides. So that means total diamond weight here is impressive. Look at that, look at that. 39.99 is the new low, so you got a brand new all-time low on that one. Let's get to our wheel. We've got our fawn diamond. You know what? We're going to do the wheel at the top of the hour. I got to get this fawn diamond at home. If you want to go a little more simple, because I realize this is a wide ring, it's an inch in width, so it's going to be a uh, too large for some. Take a look, though. This is what I would recommend instead. I can honestly say I've named these stones fawn diamonds. I got the privilege to do that. I'm working with the GIA now. We're going to make it official, but I got to tell you, this is a really, really, really special stone because out of all the fawn diamonds, there's never been one of this color. And this is where, I mean, really, truly, you've got three colors. Usually fawn diamonds are defined by a pink and a champagne. Those two colors colliding together. In this case, you have the pinks, the champagnes, and some of that very rare orange. We're so proud of this ring. It is a fabulous fancy stone. I gotta tell you, um, mm, 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 pear shape, rare to see the pear shapes. It is in that breathtaking bridge, giving the ultimate contrast with the white diamonds and the white gold. Here's what we've got, 49, 67 is the item number. It is as it is in the rose and the white. You can change that if you'd like to, but I think this is the way you leave it. Just because again, the rose gold around your fawn diamond is showing that off. Your white gold is showing off the white diamond, still giving you contrast. I'll tell you what we'll do. 50 points on the pair, 85 points in the diamonds around it. I'm gonna put it on the auction block. We're gonna see what happens uh, because I'm looking at the price tag here and it's $67.99. So that I don't know, just based on the first two hours tonight, I'm not sure if that's gonna rocket it out of here. And that's exactly what we wanna do. Somebody's gotta own this ring tonight. So with that 50 point center, one of the most unusual colors I've seen us have and 85 points on the sides, we're gonna go $67.99, you don't like it, right? I mean, if you want it, we'll take it, right? <laughs> but no, we're going to do something better. Take a look. $67.99, not going to be. What about that? Ask yourself this. Do you have a diamond in your collection yet that looks like that? Because I know we've got collectors. 
I know we've got some new shoppers who are on their way to becoming collectors, but I don't know if you have that stone color yet. It's just rare. I've only seen one ever, and it looks, it's right here. <laughs> it's sitting right there in this ring. This color is distinctive and still, might I add, all natural. It's all natural. I, I, I got silence. I, I, I know. It's the 6800 bucks, right? I mean, it took me like two minutes to sell a dollar ring. So I get it. I get it. I'm going to do something wild here. Let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and let you price it. I know the top of the hour is running up quite, pretty quickly here. We got two minutes. This may go on over into the top of the hour, but I'll tell you this much. I'm going to start this low. Dare I say low, low. We're going to have to. We're going to have to. Because, but I only, but I, you know, I can only, you know, I can't, I've got one hour left in the show. So if I start too low, we're going to be here all night. So here's what I want to do. I still want to show you about 50, 60 more items. We've got 67.99 as our go out the door tonight price tag. Here's what I want to do. You know it's a complex mounting. The mounting alone, just to give you a rough figure here, the mounting by itself is 46.86. I'm not making that up. It's on the golden ticket. 46.86 is the mounting by itself. There's no center stone incorporated in there, you guys, none. So here's what I'm going to do. And it is 18 karat gold. That's not listed. I noticed that on the tag. It's stamped 18 karat gold. <sighs> I, I give it, a, I'll just make it your choice if you want for, I mean, I'd, honestly, yeah. <laughs> this is already priced at 14 karat gold pricing. You just let me know. I mean, this one's 18 karat. It's stamped right in there. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Go figure. <laughs> If it's $67.99 at 14 k I should probably move that price up. Thank you, not down. But uh, here's what we're going to do. And it is 18 karat gold, Tony. So, yeah, we got to put that up there. Thanks, Jess. It is 18 karat. So, I, again, if you want 14 karat, I'll leave it up to you guys. But this one right now is 18 karat. So, the bag don't lie. The stamp don't lie. So, it just says 14 karat in the system. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. It's not going to stop me from giving you an ultimate, ultimate opportunity. And that's all I can do, right? I, I'm stuck at $67.99 as far as TV on and where we can price it, that's it. It's one of the most unusual colors of stones we've ever seen on this show. James, you already like it? Okay, so we've got one person thinking about it, verifying 60, huh? I, I am, I am gonna auction it. What do you wanna start it at, James? 5,000? 4,000? 3,000, well, it's up to you. <laughs> Listen, I've only got $67.99 here, so I got a whole different plan that's going to get you guys involved. What if we start, this is one of the most unusual diamonds I've ever had the pleasure of showing you. And even tonight, I've had chameleon diamonds. I've had our biggest chameleon diamond. We've got, okay, no open, $2,500, sweetening the deal a little bit. Throwing in, sprinkling a little sugar on the deal. A little cherry on top. $2,500. Once again, the mounting by itself is $4,686. It actually makes the $6,800 price tag not even make sense as it was. And I'm at $25 with no open. Okay. <laughs> I tell you what, I've got one person, they're still thinking about it. And I'm just going to get them to say yes, somehow, some way. How about $2,000 to start? And hey, now it's the top of the hour. So maybe, just maybe a few of you are watching now that weren't watching two minutes ago. We are going $2,000 to start. $100. It's a 50 point. Have you ever seen a color like this? I'm not hearing an open. Let's do this. Y'all ready? I don't know what I'm going to do, Tone. No, I'm not, I'm not ready to look at the ring yet. Hold on. I'm just, she's like nervous pacing here. It's pacing. Thinking about, I don't know, checking out the scenery, enjoying the view. Nineteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Seventeen hundred. I need an open. I need an open, and I'm feeling like if I go low enough, I'm going to get the open. 
How about we go 16? How about we go $1,500 to start? Bye-bye. Take a look. Let's go. Let's go. Do we have the open? There it is. We got the open at 1500 Well, this is going to get interesting. Sit back and get cozy because we might be here a while. We're at 15. We've got the open. Adrian, who do you have there? Bonnie. Where's Bonnie calling us from? I've talked to so many Bonnies lately. Hi, Bonnie in Florida. I talked to Bonnie in New York. I talked to Bonnie in California. This is Bonnie in Florida. How you doing? She's going to be A-OK -okay if she gets this at $1,500. She's going to be doing better than good, right? OK, so we've got one, <laughs> one bidder. What did I do? 16. We got 16. We, who do you have there, Joanne? We got 16. There is hope. Hi, Michelle. We got Michelle at 16. She's ready. She going, I'm not passing. We got 17. 1700. Have you, let me try the songs. I haven't done that yet. I'm waiting until we get up to something respectable, but here we are. $1,700 we have. Oh no, it's a tight fit on me. <laughs> oh goodness. Absolutely gorgeous. Now let me tell you what this Brit. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Amanda. Okay. Se <laughs> too cheap, right? It's too cheap. Too cheap. So, this is a true bridge mounting where you have a double row running underneath, a top and a bottom row that come up and elevate that hold that platform where you have your center stone and your halo. And one of the most unique colors of diamonds I've ever seen in my lifetime. And I can honestly say, I have never seen a stone quite like it before. I tell you, the cutting, the clarity, the, we have really slowed down on this auction. Where is everybody going? <laughs> Does anybody want to go? I'm just, I was, we we're on a little tiny mini roll there. We got a couple of bids and now it's silent. So here's what I'm going to do. This is far too early for this. But I got two choices. Spend the next 55 and a half minutes on this ring in hopes to get something, I don't know, <laughs> or sell it too cheap right now and move on and press my luck with something else. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. I'm going to clock it. We're going to send this flying out of here. And apparently, we're going to sell it. I mean, right now, it's poised to go well, well under $2,000. That, I will reiterate, because this is where I think value is just so easily explained and so easily defined is the mounting on its own 4686 from our factory. We don't get this from somebody who got it from somebody who got it from somebody. We make it. We have the best values because we make our jewelry. We don't buy it from other people. We make it all in house. It's part of the reason we have the amazing values that we do. But this mounting is 4686 buy it's lonesome without the fabulous 50 point fancy colored diamond and I got $1,700. This is clearly going nowhere fast. So here's what I will do. And thank goodness, you know that phrase TGIF? Doesn't that mean thank goodness it's Friday? Thank goodness it's Friday. Because I got to believe for a second here, I don't know if you know this, but those of you that are watching us now on television, you guys are the lucky few. Because most of the people that normally watch TV on on all the other days, don't get us on Friday. And I got to believe that has a lot to do with this auction value because I got to believe that with fewer eyes, we got fewer bids and therefore more savings for you. That's what I got to believe is happening here. It's an incredible value and we're only at 17 and we got a long way to go. So here's what I'll do. I'll clock it because I got nobody even coming in, nobody verifying except one over there. I'm going to go out in the phone bank. We'll see what we got going on, but I'm looking for $1,800 or more or more. If you put in a bid for 4,600, we almost get to the mounting, almost, almost. And then you can still get a free stone in the center, which is where your important stuff is, is that center stone. I'm going to give it a final call. You have two minutes. And what that means is there are two minutes left until we sell it. And when that two minute clock is up and the clock hits zero, we sell it to the top bidder. So all you need to do is dial. That's all you got to do. All you got to do. Take a look at it. We got our final call starts right now. Final call on the ring. Now, let me see, who's at 17? Let me see, who's at 17? And then who is, ver is anybody verifying? That's the big question. Is anybody verifying? James, you've been in it since the beginning and you haven't placed a bid yet, but they're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. 
Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take a maybe as a yes right now. A maybe as a yes. <laughs> well, not officially until you say so. But again, I'm, I'm hopeful here. I am hopeful. <laughs> oh, Bonnie, thank you. Bonnie's watching. She's looking for earrings. Unfortunately, that is a markdown on that price, so I cannot. So sorry about that, Bonnie. I will show them to you, but that is the best price on those earrings. So, all right, we have a final minute and a half, minute, ooh, minute 10 left. Okay. This isn't going exactly as planned, but that's okay. <laughs> Should have started at three or four. Gosh, at least two, right? But we're not there yet. So final, 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 final call is one minute away. We are looking for your bids. Again, it's really simple. All it is is a phone call away. It's one phone call away from perhaps being yours, and we're going to determine our winner in about 50 seconds here. But there is a delay, so we said call early. Don't wait till the last second, literally, because you won't get through in time. So that's just an important uh, bit of knowledge for any auctions going forward. If you are new, those of you that already know, you know. But for those of you that are new to the auctions, Keep that in mind. Oh, keep it in mind. Oh my goodness, 17. Final 30 seconds are on their way here. Let's see, and don't forget you can change the gold if you would like. You can change the gold color if you would prefer to. You may, no problem. We'll be happy to do that for you despite the crazy savings that are happening right now. 17, going once, do we have 18? That's what we're aiming for. We're looking for $1,800 or more. Power bids are so welcome right now. So welcome. That's it? 18? Yes or no? Sold. Congratulations. That was the longest two minutes of my life. <laughs> Anybody else think that felt like, Tony, I'm going to go to the hand shop real quick, show Bonnie something real quick. Bonnie just came in. She wanted to see this pair of earrings. Yeah. I'll have to check. It was snug on me, so let's see. Let me see where it's at now just so whoever won it knows where it stands. And Bonnie, these are for you. That was a six right now, six right now. You may want to go up a half a size on that one. Look at this. Just want to show you these earrings. What I'm going to do, Tony, is come in a little closer, if I may. And there is, hold on, now they flip. Just want to flip them back. Now, these are the opposite way of how I would wear them, but they're just on a card. So you're going to decide how you want to wear them. But take a look at this beautiful, kind of begins with the North Star, which we have some North Star studs coming up over the weekend. Uh, Bonnie saw these. She wanted to see if we, could, um, if we could show these again. This is a really cool earring for sure. They're very large. They're actually 3092 is the ad number. These are 10 millimeter pink pearls that are natural in color. 60 points in diamonds as well. Your whole crescent moon is done in diamonds. And just so you can see, the full measurement is two inches in length. So you do have two inches from top to bottom, and it starts with the star, ends with the moon, great chain, and then your pearl is suspended. Now, these are in the rose gold. I hear that's how she would want them. Bonnie, I agree. I would love them in the rose gold. I'd really like the idea of keeping them that way. Now, there, I just want to show you here what they look like. And there is a, a left and a right design. I think most likely, it's really up to you, but if you want to wear them out or in towards the face, that's really up to you there. But that's going to be only, wow, they have been heavily discounted. They were $24.99 at last count. And now they're only $888. So, and they're ready to go in the rose gold. They are a post and a butterfly backing. So there you can see, and they're really special, very celestial. That is a great look. Boy, right now you cannot open a catalog or look in a store window without seeing moons and stars and even planets. I was looking through a very, very, one of my favorite catalogs to look through for jewelry yesterday and I was seeing planets, actual Saturn, Saturn in a necklace. And I was like, oh, that's actually, and I kind of liked it. I kind of liked it. The rings were all done in diamonds and the planet was all done in mirror finish gold. Anyway, so that's for you, Bonnie. She wanted to check those out again. They're 888, congratulations on the auction. Thank you so much. Our winner. Wow. That was a winner, 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 winner. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll try them on. Sure. Let me give you something to look at while I try them on. And just keep in mind, this is still here. So give me a second to try those on for you. We'll do it. And then we're going to show you a wheel. That was actually the intentional top of the hour. And yet we got a little carried away with our auction. That took a little extra time, but <laughs> didn't result in, in much action there, but hey, we got your value. That's what we're about, right? So here's what we have on the pot of E, but just want to remind you, this one was up earlier. So just an idea of what this is all about. Uh, it's our, I can't even believe it's still here. It's a just under three carat stone. And uh, we do have that for 43.99. So just an idea there. Let me see if I can put these on for you here. 
in the moon and the stars. And there they are. So you can kind of get an idea here of what those look like. <laughs> there they are. That's, that's how I would wear them, but just with the crescent moon facing out, because I think then it matches up kind of with your jawline really, really well. And you start with a star, which is really cool. Boy, I never got that earring back in. <laughs> My earrings have been off and on tonight a uh, hundred times. But there they are with the North Star with the diamond in the middle, and then the crescent moon is all done in diamonds, and then you have your pink pearl. And please forgive this lighting. This is not set up to be an earring shot. It's a makeshift earring shot that I just do for you on occasion. So it's not even a shot that's let lit at all. So forgive me if it's not the best to show off the diamonds. But again, gives you a sense of the size. This is really designed, I'm kind of in darkness over here, but this is designed to give you a sense of the size, certainly. And that beautiful way that you do have that mobile style where the pearl is kind of suspended from the crescent moon. Anyway, that's 888 for that pair. All right, back to our wheel we go. We'll take a last look at the pot of Eba, and then we'll get right to it. We got something special coming up for you next. We've got a wheel, yes. Thank you, Rose Gold. Remember you can do Rose, yeah, you can do. You can change the gold color on those if you want to. Yes, Joanne, feedback? You don't like the earring shot? I know, it's dark, but you know, it's, it's a size perspective. Just kind of how see how they move. I like to do that, because I think it's important that you guys see how, how pieces look on whenever possible. So, you know, to see them, how they move, and how they kind of hang, and how they're gonna move when you move, and how they, perspective size-wise, is important too. So, anyway, uh, let's do this. I got a wheel coming up. That pad I is $43.99, by the way, the $297 with the carrot $41. It's helpful, right? It's helpful. Yeah, usually it's helpful. So anyway, that's going to be $43.99. <laughs> it also shows off. It's also made me realize I got to get to the dermatologist because I got a ma major, major, major sunspot right over there by my ear. I'm like, wow, that's from my left side because go figure, driving the car all these years and all that sun coming in. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Tiffany, did you have a question? Oh, it's Bonnie. Oh, wonderful. Well, that's who we showed them for. So thank you, Bonnie. Thank you so much. Enjoy and love to all the animals. She's got a whole menagerie at her house. So I'll just say all the animals. She's got the bunnies and the horses and the dogs. And I probably don't even know about more. There's probably more. Anyway, thank you on the pearls. All right. So here we go on the Paraiba $43.99. I don't think you need me for that. That's just an obvious value with some big trillion cuts on the sides. Loving that. All righty. So, wheel, let's get to a museum. I'm not afraid, let's go. I can do it, guys. We're just gonna make everything super, super, super cheap. And I'm gonna start with one of my favorites of all time, which is the pink zircon. Yeah, this is the best for pinks. Some have a little more brown to them. Actually, one coming up for the weekend is kind of browny, peachy pink. This is raspberry pink all out. It is stunning. Then we also have the diamond ring. Then we also have, well, 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 I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We got the feather ring, but this is more a little bit like not as abstract. We've done a feather ring before. This is a little bit more of just a way to get a wide style with some open work to it. Then I have our big time imperial. This is the museum level imperial topaz that I have. It's a super elongated oval. It's got this amazing, oh, look at that color. Honey, honey, color on that stone. Then we've got a huge diaspore. There's the color change diaspore that I love so much. Then our pink and white diamond designer ring. This is the one that's got the beautiful squared off shank to it. That is half pink, half white, all fabulous. And then we have a very bright Colombian emerald. And then you have the fabulous spinel. It's a trillion cut. So we do have quite a wheel here. <laughs> it's quite a setup. Got a few big pieces here. We'll try to make room for them all. Here's our fabulous rare Oh yeah, this wheel is full. Look at that. That's a cool wheel for sure. And this is what we have for you. All of this gorgeous jewelry is going to be on Markdown Central. We got your favorite pieces here. Some of our really, really rare stones. Boy, that emerald, you don't get much better than that. That emerald is spectacular. Got a fabulous auto prate though. That is the, oh, look at this tanzanite. It's a round blue wing tanzanite. And then over here we have the Tajikistan. That's the spinel, or is that the mahenge? Hold on, hold on. We've had both. Let me see if this one is the, tr yeah, that trillion cut is rare. The pink zircons in me. Yeah, that's the mahenge. Mahenge, yeah, the neon. So if I can help you with anything on this wheel, let me know. I'm going to make this quick and easy, quick and dirty. That's all we got to do here. It's just a, a fantastic value coming your way. We're going to give away some museum pieces because why not? Why not? I can give away cheaper stuff or I can just give away the best we got. <laughs> and that's what I'm preferring to do here 
for you um, in the later portion of the evening here since we only have, uh, only have about 40 minutes left. You know what? How about this? And the diamond ring is huge. That's 18 karat gold. We still have our clover earrings as well. You might remember those beautiful, those clover earrings with the big diamond weight. Anyway, those are here first hour. If you missed them, let me know. Here's our museum wheel. It's, it's elite, but it's a little bit more. <laughs> it's a museum wheel. But we still have classics. You know, I don't, I don't want to leave anybody out who's just looking for diamonds or just looking for really classic rings. Like, we love to have the diamond pieces. You have two choices here, all white or pink and white. Your choice of, I think, some really great styles for gold weights, certainly some bigger rings. If you like to go the cocktail ring route, these are definitely it. Uh, the huge diaspora, I will tell you, that's kind of where my eye goes, just being a collector and you know, wanting to get something unique. There aren't a lot of those diaspores in that size to go around. So there's a massive diaspora that changes color up there. So a really special stone. Pick your favorite, whatever you want. I'm going to smack these prices down because we have no choice. I mean, I've been watching two hours and 20 minutes of insanity go on with these prices where good is not good enough and great is not good enough and unbelievable is not good enough. So I'm going to take these way down. You can rest assured of that. Take a look at this. We're going to go ahead and do a little impromptu discounting for the end of our Friday night. But if there is a favorite that you have, my recommendation would be to call on the early side. I got all the carrot weights waiting for you. We've got one of our brightest, cleanest emeralds. I love that emerald. Wow. How big is that emerald? Carrot 28 on the Colombian pear shape. We've got the trillion mehenge. That's rare. Yes, yes, you can. Not only can you change the color. That's our largest one, Adrienne. It's a 498. Okay, I'm barely, barely moving it. And look what that stone does. If that stone does not is not just a delight for your eyes, I don't know what I can show you in gemstones that's going to give you any more wow factor than that. And do you know, Ad actually, Adrienne, it's white gold only. I just saw it because we're going so low. It's a carat 36 in diamonds. Do they want yellow with this? Oh, really? Mm. James, are they modifying those earrings? Oh, boy. A stud? Mm, just remember how it moves. I'm just saying. Just, just remember it moves. Uh oh, we got one. What? Oh, she will? She's okay with the white gold? Okay, I think she'll really like it. <laughs> it's sold. $25,000, we can move on. We've so No, we're not going to do that, guys. We have got values coming. The pig zircon is spoken for because why? Why does she trust? Because she knows if it's on a wheel, it's going to be discounted under cost. We're going to get it at home no matter what. And if good is not good enough, and if great is not good enough, then we're going to go ultimately. Look, you want the pink zircon too? There's only one. There's only, oh, I forgot. We're really cl close for the earrings. Hold on. Let's go back to whoop, normal. No, it's fine, Tony. I'm, I've got go-go gadget arms here. I can handle it. <laughs> so what's that? You got it, pink and white. So this one's already spoken for, but let's make sure, Amanda, that she, because she doesn't know the price yet, but she knows it's going to be good. They're not even 25,000, 20,000, 10,000, 5,000, not even. It's Adrienne who's thinking about this one. It is white gold only, and then we'll show you the pink and the white as well on the hand. That's the next one to go. That's the pink and white diamond ring with a squared off shank in the back. That means it's just going to keep it from rotating on the hand. It's a really beautiful ring, simple, but a wow piece, right? I mean, there's something unusual about the way the pieces come together, meet in the middle. There's always like a butterfly vibe to me, but in a more contemporary way. And the pink and the white diamond ring is item number 4699, as it is in the white and the rose for you, Amanda. And then we're going to blow these out. You know what? Not even four, three, or two thousand dollars. I'm blowing them out. They got to go. We have very little time left. I'll make them $1,999 while they last. $1,999. Say bye-bye to all of these gorgeous rings. Back to our wheel we go. That, do you want the pink and white? And let me show you the back, how this is done. What we mean by squared off shank is just like so. It's actually what we call the European shank, where it's got more of a squared off instead of rounded style. It just keeps it really centered because ideally it is a symmetrical piece. Yeah, pink and white. 
Okay, pink and white diamond ring is gone. That was 60 points in the white, 65 in the round pinks. Very good. Big stones there too. Congratulations. The uh, pink zircon is also gone. 4785. Adrian, just checking. You do want to get that pink. Yeah, that one is sold. Thank you so much. And then we'll take a look at what we have here. Let me bring on in the camera so you can show. We can show everything we have here. Look at that imperial. Yes, the Imperial is fab you lust. Here's your other. We got a color changing stone there and the die is four. It's a huge gem. Your Mahenge and a trillion. The only Mahenge trillion we have. 1999 and you got an all rare, all natural one source Imperial that's in the front right there. That is fabulous. And anything you'd like, 1999, lowest price as possible. We're aiming to move them quick because we got a lot of jewelry to show. You know how they say make it up in volume. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure if that's going to be the case, but we are getting everything at a cost here and have been all night long. So if there's something you love and appreciate off these wheels, these values are where it's at. I'm still thinking we may plow through and show you that big, tr uh, big tansy in the bridge. That new one that I previewed earlier for you tonight. Got that one coming up. Thank you, Bonnie, so much. I'm so glad you love those earrings. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Okay, final call. We'll give it two minutes on this wheel. By the way, that diaspora is huge. It is actually a 10 carat 73 on the color change diaspora, which does go from that's a very more much more golden, uh, golden rich kind of olive golden color, and it goes to pink. And then we have which one, James? For you, the Imperial. Oh yeah, who's next? Imperial Tanzanite. A uh, 92 point diamond ring. That's going to be five rows, baguettes and rounds through the middle and then smaller rounds on the outsides. Four rows on the outsides, one big row in the middle there. Then we've still got this amazing tanzanite surround that's glittering like the diamonds are on the sides. And then we have a carat 28 emerald with 60 points in diamonds as well. That is one of the cleanest emeralds I've seen us do. Fabulous look there. Final, final call. We'll get you hooked up, guys. What's what we're here to do? We're here to give jewelry away and you guys get to be the beneficiaries of that. So excited for you. And again, anything I can help you with, tell us now because we're moving on in about one minute from this wheel. I love that diaspora. It's our biggest one left. It's almost 11 carats. You get diamonds all the way around it. And here is the Imperial, uh, probably the rarest stone up there, you guys. It's either the Imperial or the diaspora. I mean, diamonds, there's a lot of diamonds there, but they're every day. I would really think about if you are somebody who does just prioritize rarity in your collections, I think you got to look at the diaspora in the back left and the Imperial in the front right. Because just, just really tough stones. I couldn't duplicate those if you handed me $100,000 cash. I can't duplicate those stones. We don't have anything else like it. We have nothing else of this kind of size in those gems. So leave the tans and I leave the emerald, leave the diamonds. But, but if you really are serious about collecting your stones that you know you're never going to see another one like it again, think diaspora, think imperial. Let me show this. I'll just take a, a little bit of a, just a, a proactive stance here and show this 639 on the hand so you can see what this is all about. This ring has been a small fortune on our air before. Now it's only 1999 and watch that. That's a natural topaz. This is not heated in any way. I know we get all excited when we see unheated diamonds and unheated sapphires and, you know, other stones that are like the unheated zoocytes. This is always unheated, but that doesn't make it any less special. It makes it more special that every stone you've ever seen, but especially when you ramp up and you go to these really saturated stones, that's when it gets special. They're usually light yellows, light goldens. When you got honey colors, it looks like honey in a gem. Yes. Yes, be happy to. It's item number 4892. Remember, this is actually 18 karat gold. It is 92 points. It is only white gold on that one, Anthony. So just something to keep in mind as you look at it here. It is a domed style. So when I show it to you from the sides, you see how it slightly elevates. So your middle row is the highest and then they slightly uh, recess from there. So you got, again, the lower pieces on the edges of your band. It's like a dome, but open so that you get every row, all five rows separated. All five rows are unique. You can see you have bigger diamonds here, smaller diamonds here, big diamonds here. Those are baguettes and rounds alternating and then bigger and smaller again. So every row is, is a little bit different throughout the ring here. And that's 92 points and 18 karat gold. That's the last one there. So our final, final, final call. We still got the Imperial. My goodness, my goodness. Can't get any better than that at 1999. Last call on the wheel. Good luck, 1999 final call. We're giving jewelry away tonight. It's your night to be shopping and picking up something you love.
but while they're here only, because that is not going to last. And you can call them, you might be quoted a higher price in the future. They're just not going to come back at this price at $19.99. So how can we help? Sounds like the diamond ring is gone. Remember that's 18 carat solid gold and just shy of a full carat of diamonds on that diamond ring. It is a one only. We've got the Imperial Topaz. That Imperial and that Diaspora. I don't know if we just need to come in and take a look. Let's just take a look at them just singularly, solitarily on the wheel because it's important to see. Let's just start here. Let's start here with this Diaspora. Let's start there. Start with the cushion cut. Just bring up the info real quick just to show you in black and white what's up with this stone. It is item number 3371. 3371. And I'm going to give the Imperial a look and then we'll be out of here. Okay, really important. Thank you on the diamond ring. That one's gone as well. Excellent buy there. Then we've got our emerald, clean as can be, Colombian. We've got the diaspora, which is a 1073. You know, just a little itty bitty gem. <laughs> you know, there. It's so funny. When I first started selling these a few years ago, the deal was this. Everyone said, if you get a three carat, that's monstrous. This stone is actually not one of those stones that regularly occurs in larger sizes. It usually does not. So very exciting to have a stone of this magnitude in our largest. It's our 1073 with 49 points in VS diamonds. I mean, look at the way this is finished on the inside. Collectors, this is very pricey material already. And it's really just being introduced. I mean, it's a stone that as far as uh, as far as knowledge about it, it's really in its infant stages still, and we've got it for $19.99. All right, one look at the Imperial, then we're rocking and rolling. Take a look at this Imperial, which is a huge oval. It is the uh, 639, 4874. Just a close up look. I feel like I'm doing something wrong if these are still here. This is all on me because it's not these stones, and it's certainly not this discounted price at $19.99. 639, 49 points in diamonds. There's even a triple split shank that they have to utilize to anchor this. Otherwise, you've got a stone so large it tends to be able to be like lopsided or flop to one side or be top heavy. It's not going to happen because they anchored it the right way. They added more gold and more diamonds to give it that beautiful even per just perch it on top of your hand. Keep it level so that all of that golden flash is always what everyone sees right up front. Look at that. It's got a fingerprint. It still looks good, right? That is all natural precious topaz. If you're looking at that going, oh yeah, but I've seen six carat blue topaz for two grand. That's not special. This is not blue topaz. This is heck no, it's not mystic or pink. We don't even offer those because they're coated. They're almost like treated stones because you just take a topaz and you coat it with a color. It's like a saran wrap process and you heat it up. It's weird. We don't bring that to you. This is the ultimate rarity in topaz. That's why it's called precious topaz. It's a one source stone in the world. It is rare, rare, rare. And it's the original November birthstone, but it's not the birthstone anymore because nobody can find it. Nobody. They see they made it citrine because that's the lookalike that everyone can find. So here's your chance to own Topaz, the precious variety. Let's show you something really cool here. I got a I got a big tans and I, I previewed it for you, so it's my obligation to show it to you. I can't shy away just uh, just because the show is just again really, 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 really like discounting everything. I mean, we haven't made a penny on anything yet. So that's not going to start now because I got to show this to you. We've got a massive, massive, massive blue wing. I showed it earlier. We've got a 4242 item number. Makes me think Jackie Robinson. Uh, here's what we're going to do, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You get a little bit of that sparkle. It's a very deep stone. Don't get me wrong. Normally, you'd almost want to put a lighter stone in this mounting just so you could really show off the diamonds that run underneath in the bridge mounting. But you know what? We don't have light tanzanites. Oops, we don't have them. We only bring you the best. And that's not just something I say because it sounds good. This is literally the best in the world. And here's what I'm going to do. It's our 631. It's brand new tonight. I like brand new. I don't want to show you reruns. You, you guys are so kind to watch almost every show. Chances are if you watch one, you watch them all. So I want to bring you fresh and update it. But we only have 29 minutes on a major Friday where everything's been marked down to practically free prices. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. It's 26 points in diamonds. But this was made actually because there was a major, major surgery request for something with a large blue wing that wasn't too opulent in the diamond way. I think the thinking is a lot of people want the big blue wing and show that off, but they don't need a lot of diamonds that dress it up. If the big stone is all you need, this is how we do it. But that doesn't take away the special aspects of the ring because we've still put it in this designer, beautiful and very, very unusual bridge mounting. 
double row runs all the way underneath, you get to see it from that angle, you get to see it from that angle, you get to see it from this angle. There is not a bad side to this stone. There is not a bad side to the ring. Because let's face it, a lot of times when you're wearing a piece of jewelry, that's how you see it. Or that's how you see it. This is what we're going to do. <laughs> I got two choices. We either make it show and tell Friday, and we put up the $12,999 price tag and say, go ahead. Or we make a point to sell it and sell it cheap. That's been the name of the game tonight. It's been really, quite frankly, uh, the necessity is to sell it cheap. So, chose a, we chose a, a bit of a grand ring here to, you know, go, like I said, I previewed it. So chances are there might be one person tonight out there that's going, I'm just sitting here, I'm just sitting here waiting for that 631 in the bridge. I saw it, it's brand new, I liked it. I have to bring it to you. And I gotta tell you, with only about 25 minutes left in our Friday show, this could get interesting, but I can't make any adjustments on the price. So here's what I'm gonna do as my little loophole to get around that. Because if it's already discounted to the nines, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So here's what we're going to actually offer to everybody watching right now. I'm gonna put this on the auction block and we're gonna give you an opportunity. Just like we had, there was a really special Fawn Diamond, there was a really special Emerald Ring, all brand new designer pieces that also found their homes via the auction. So I'm gonna try it again. Now this one can't start at zero because we don't have that kind of time. We only have about 25 minutes left. However, I will start at what relatively is like zero when you consider it's a $13,000 ring. And I shouldn't be starting anything less than 10, but I will. Because I realize that tonight, we're going to need to. If we're going to get some activity and some bidders, we're going to need to start sub 10,000. And that's cool. You guys get the value. The lower I start, the better value you get. The more you save on a $13,000 ring, because that hasn't changed. It's still a $13,000 ring. I didn't take out the diamonds. We didn't take a three carat stone and swap it for the six. We just have a great ring here that we're gonna start ultimately low. And if you need, cause again, I can read off names and bore you, but we've had a lot of you asking about pe people who have contacted me directly saying, love the blue wings, love the big stones, but I don't need two carats and diamonds. I just want something that lets the stone shine through. That is where the stone is the centerpiece. And that's where the attention goes. So here it is right here in a brand new bridge. Not 10, not nine, not eight, not seven, not six, not five. I know what we got to do tonight to get this one at home and I plan on getting it at home. It's not going to be $4,000 to start either. And it's a 631 best of the best oval. Let's take a look at it. I'm not starting at four. Hold on. We're going to make this even easier for you. This is a six carat 31. The red's already flashing through. I'm not going to start at four, Tony, either. I got to get everybody on the phone lines here, and I think we can do this. If you start low enough, we're going to get you on the lines. We're going to get this a home. You know what? Make it $3,500 to open. Let's do it. $3,500 with $100 increments. Go. Let's do this. We've got a few short minutes left. We're going to make them count. We're going to really make them count here. In the last few minutes of our front. Now, don't fret. If you're going, oh, no, don't panic. In 12 hours, we do it again. We do it again. <laughs> don't fret. Don't panic. We'll be here in 12 hours and 25 minutes to do it again with a whole new lineup. So don't fret. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared to come in tomorrow. You see what I've done tonight. Yikes. My key code might not work at the door tomorrow. Mm -mm. They might lock me out. James, you're going to do the show tomorrow, maybe. You can do the show tomorrow. Wear, wear something nice, James. Wear something nice. Jess and, the Jess and James show. I like it. Nice, Jess and James. Oh. Jess and James and Joyce. <laughs> Jess and James and Joyce. The Triple J's. Oh, no. You're going to bring. Oh, is this Joe B? Yeah. Hey, Joe Beth. Joe T. I like these earrings. All right. Skip the tansy. Let's show earrings. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. I, I can't even I can't even be confident if I started that a dollar I don't know if we'd get the open so I don't know so we'll move let me show this are we ready for these what happened Amanda wow what happened is this what you're waiting for we don't have square hoops hold on don't say it to me talk through talk it through yeah 
We don't have square hoops. No, not <laughs> the spokes. No, it's like a Come on now. I know my hoops. Come on. Yeah, no, it's like Talk to me. Have, so not these. Like Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not this. Okay. Bummer. I love showing these. But, okay. So that was Joe B, right? Joe T? Joe B T? Joe B T. Okay. Yeah, these are not the three rows. Oh, the 174s. I know exactly. I just looked at the request. 174s, I know we don't have them. They're the triple row pave. They're, they're by the way, they're, they're, I know what they mean. Okay. No, we don't have them, Joe B. Sorry about that. Okay. Never mind. All right. Or do we just show these? Let's show them. Somebody's got to be madly in love with these earrings. They're not what Joe B's looking for. <laughs> but I know, listen, I know she writes on Facebook and I know who that is. So, you know what I'll do? The next time I see those, if I see those, they're not here now. If I see those, I know exactly which one she's talking about. If I see them, I think I already responded to her on Facebook a couple weeks ago about these. We don't have them. Um, but as soon as I, I can actually reach out to her directly so she doesn't miss them, okay? So, Joe B, I'm going to promise you when I see those come back, if they come back, I can't guarantee because I'm not, I don't make all the jewelry, but I got to say, if I see them, I will contact you directly before the show and we'll make sure you see them, okay? But in the meantime, we might as well show these, right? Because they're too beautiful. Like, that would be just wrong for me to just show them and not show them. That's not right. Look at how beautiful these are. This is a major hoop with the pave. I know what she's looking for. These are not it. This is going to be a bit... Uh, a bit greater in size here. This is not 4374 though, so that's the problem. This is not that item number. These have about four carats in diamonds, so you guys will have to give you an off here on these because here's the information. They're 412. Yeah, so the tag is correct, but the item number is not. Jess, if you want to try, there's a 412 diamond weight here if we can try to look up the item number, but that's definitely not it. So they're not a carat 74. We were hoping they were. Do yeah. I don't. It was a while ago. All right, so we're going to have to skip those for now because we don't have an item number, you guys, because they just came out by request. But we do have another request to show Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Thank you so much. Oh, good, Alexandra. Right. This is not in her price range, but it's the best we can do right now. Um, so, Shirley, have a look at it, and let's see what you think. Oh, it's a one only. So let's just show her here. First of all, Shirley, it's really tough. I got to say, just from a just shopping in the future perspective, it's tough to do a big Alexandra right for under $1,500. Uh, just it's a rare stone, but I will tell you, we're going to take that into consideration, your request, and we're going to give you a great value on this one at 4862, which is, guys, we will offer those hoops for you if you need them, but they are something we just got to find the item number so we can make sure we can place the order for you. But there is 412 and diamond weight just on those. Um, so here we are. It's a 76 pointer in a pear shape. It's 85 points in VS diamonds. And um, you know what we'll do? I'd love to get it at home. It's white gold only. So just as you see, it's the same mounting we actually saw with the bridge with the Fawn Diamond earlier. Do you remember that Fawn that we had with the peachy orange color? Thank you. Oh, good. Another one. Perfect. This is great. Thank you. So this one, I'll tell you what, we'll get this one out the door too. Because that is a beautiful Alex in 100% color change. And I'll tell you what, if you want to go smaller, I just got one for you. I'll tell you what we'll do for this one, though. First collar only on this one. And you saw this mounting. We talked about this earlier. Guess what? It's still a $4,600 mounting. Same deal. Actually, this one has a couple extra diamonds. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Blow it out. White gold only. Make it easy. I know we've had a lot of people miss out on this month's birthstone. stone. It is. You could go pearl or you can go Alexandrite. Rare color changing crystal barrel. Let's blow it out. We'll do it right now for $1,999. That's it, but I do, surely stay with us. They brought me out another one here that's slightly smaller to get you in the price range you want to be in. So we do have that as well, or close. And uh, so Shirley in Illinois, yours is coming up next, but this one's only $19.99, that value, it's gotta go. There's a price tag that should be, again, $46.86 for the mounting plus the Alex, which is a very, very important pricey stone ordinarily. Now it's $19.99 for that gem, for that ring. That is a special gem right there. So here's what it looks like on the hand. Take a look at this. Wow, look how stunning. And if you want, we are going to offer to send you the pen light, which is basically a way to get your UV light on your stone at a moment's notice. So you can see the color change go from blue 
green to red. Let's show another one though. This is a slightly smaller stone here. This is going to be the bridge as well, but a little more dainty bridge. So it doesn't have the big blocky style of gold. It's more just like the diamonds are floating on this bridge. This one's going to be at number 4919, also brand new, also by request, and a fabulous, fabulous value. And this is going to be, wow, 56 points which is still considered large in the Alex world. Let's keep that in mind. I mean, that's 100% Alexandra. It's still a large stone here at 56 points. And then it's got 57 points in the diamond bridge that are all VS. I'm blowing it out. First collar, let's make it easy. Look at that true bridge finished on the inside still. You can get white gold or yellow gold or rose gold, but look at this. You still get the clarity of the stone where you can see the diamonds through it. How pretty is that? We're going to blow it out right now. Make it only $1,499. That's it. And then we got to roll. And if anybody wants to think about the Tanzanite, that's $631. We we'll gotta sell it, guys. We gotta sell it. We're looking for thirty-five hundred dollars on that tansy. There's the big tansy. If you want to get that one started, let us know. We still have the pot of evil. I'm not leaving here tonight until we get that pot of evil, which might mean that I'm gonna be here till tomorrow morning and Peanut not gonna see me till five p.m. tomorrow. But let's show you the pot of evil one more time because this is the ring. <laughs> I showed it in the first hour because I was so confident that with this silly, tiny, low, itty bitty price, I was so confident it was gonna go out the door. We had two people say sold, and then guess what? Two turned into nobody. So I wanna show it to you one more time before we go, because we have about 14 minutes in the show, and I really wanna help you own something spectacular. And listen, I know this is never a, what we would classify as an affordable stone, right? Although we did have earrings tonight for 777, because I, I had a blowout price on those. But if you're looking for a bigger stone, the Paraibas, in bigger sizes are much like diamonds, where you're just not going to find a five carat diamond for five bucks. Much like you're not going to find a three carat pot of Eva for a couple thousand, or will you? That's the beauty of what we're doing tonight in this spectacular mounting. There's one only in the world. And now, uh, uh, you know, there could be a couple of people there thinking about it. There's probably somebody who hasn't seen it yet who's just been waiting for us to do some silly deal on a big pot of Eva to make it affordable. And you know, these stones are not affordable. And the fact is, they're going up, not down. If you have one, you are in rare company and you save it and you keep it. People will offer you more money for your pot of Eva's. I advise holding on to them, hold on to them and, and keep them as heirloom pieces for your collection, for your family's collection. Keep them forever because these are superstars in this quality. The mining is done. The mining is through. So there is no way to get more material no matter where you go. And the only place you're going to find them is auction houses. But even auction houses haven't had them for the last several years because like I just said, people who have them, collect them. They keep them. And I'm not just talking about you and I, private collectors. I'm talking about dealers where that's their livelihood. That's their life's blood is to sell stones. That's what they do to keep the lights on and feed their families. And they're not selling pot of They're figuring out other ways. They're not parting with their pot of So when I show you a stone that is just shy of three carats, that's one of our big ones. It's in our top five of sizes. It's got, in my opinion, the prettiest mounting we have with Paraibas because it's not just about the overall look, it's about the individual diamonds. There are beautiful trillion cut diamonds. Look at this. I mean, just, just take it all in. Look at this ring one more time because I've got a hunch that this is going to find its home tonight. How can it not? We have got a price and I read you all the prices. It's like you're up here standing next to me, hosting the show right alongside. I have given you the $24,000 price it started at not so long ago. And then it was 17,000. And then it went to 8888 and then it went to 6999. I believe this little handwritten price here was probably put on this ring in complete error. But I'm going to go ahead and honor this tonight. <laughs> and again, if you call tomorrow and go, well, what happened to the price? They're probably going to say, yeah, that was an error. So I just pick it up tonight while we can get away with this because this ring is not going to be $69.99. You've seen enough pot of Eva's on this show where you know that's right where it should be. That's the value that gets them out the door right there. That's it. That's the price tag. Instead, tonight, I have one ring don't wait three carat stone and look at the side that is a large vs trillion that is a large vs trillion and you've got a carat 41 total in diamonds around it and this is not seven thousand dollars tonight i just again 
every fiber of my being just says, let's just sell this ring. I don't care if anything else gets shown tonight. It's just all about this value. It is all about this value. I think this stands alone as our top value in the entire show tonight. I really do. I say that from a, a place of, of a little bit of history with the stone. I collect the stone. I have more of the stone than any other gem. I've got a 10 carat that I love. I'll tell you, they are going up in value continuously. They have not stopped. And yet, that's because it's supply and demand. There's a finite amount of Paraibas in this world, and that's that. And the big stones are what's rare. The big stones are what are so, so rare. Let's blow it out right now. The very first caller, it's inexplicable. The mounting alone, I mean this when I say this, should be more for the mounting by itself, and I can prove it. That is the tag on the mounting. And you'll remember that I didn't go 57.94 for this ring. Here is the mounting. There's the details on the mounting. And that's made up of 38 pieces. That's what I just learned from that tag. 38 diamonds in that ring making up that carat 41. And it's not going to be 69.99. Huh? I missed it all. Anything I should know about? Yeah. Okay. Don't charge them 69.99 though, okay? Okay, good. She does? Really? She wants to pay more. Yeah. 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 Don't don't charge her more, Jess. All right. That's sold. So congratulations. Now I have one more mission tonight before I leave you. Is this Tanzanite? Thank you so much on the Pata Eva. Enjoy it. I've got to show you the 631. It was item number 4242. And <laughs> Well, we've got, yikes, 12 minutes. I'll tell you what. Remember I tried the auction this piece? I'm going to try it again because here's the choices. $12,999 or $3,500 to open. And let me just give you a tip. <laughs> with 10 minutes left in the show on a Friday night with half of our viewers, we're probably not going to have 50 people bidding. We probably won't have five. I've already shown it once and we had zero. So I just feel like these are my, these are my passion pieces tonight. The Pata Ibas found its home. Thank goodness for that. And now we have a six carat 31 blue wing and we're looking for a 3,500. Anything for me? No. Get into that time, guys. Ten minutes left in the show. And that's the one I want to get at home. Out of everything I've had, and I've had lots of spectacular jewelry, but that is the one that I want to see get a home. And we're looking for $3,500 to get that started. Take a look at this. I mean, why not? Let's just come in and get to know it. Let's get close up. Let's take a good gander, and let's check it all out. Jeez, that stone's good, right? It's a good stone. There's your side profile. Here is another profile look. Look at this. You get to see all the goodness of the stone. You get to peek in. That's how it's designed. You got 631. Let's show it all off. Don't just look at the top. Look at every aspect of it. Look at the whole totality of the stone. Because the pavilion is just as good. The culet is just as deep and dark. The sides of this crown fastening is just as red flash goodness. This is your chance right now. And right now, I don't know. It's either this or I, I really think it's this. I think it's this ring. Let's get it at home. We got the Paraiba home. They literally called and said, I know I should be paying more. I want to pay more. We didn't let them. If this is looking a little wonky from 13000 to thirty-five, that's been the theme of the night. So all I'm trying to do is give stuff away. And the point is, I don't want to put this back in a vault tonight. I want to get it to you. We want to size it and ship it and get it to your house. Let's give it 60 seconds to get an open. Take a look. And I can tell you right now, you're not going to have a lot of competition. I can tell. We're, I mean, miracles happen, but it's probably not happening tonight. So $3,500 to open and $100 increments if we get the open. That's a, that's a big asterisk over there with the increments because... We're just looking for the open right now. That's all we're looking for. You got to, what, what do they say? You got to crawl before you walk. So we can't get ahead of ourselves here. Let's just get an open first. Let's get an open and then we'll figure the rest out from there. 
But right now, we are looking for an open of $3,500. We have. Yeah, the sapphire hoops are here. Thank you. White gold only, James. Yeah. Which one? Yes. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> 35! And we got hoops going out the door, and we got questions coming in, but I have no open on this ring. <sighs> Do you want to see him again, James? Should we show him again? No. Okay. <laughs> that was definitive. Got it. Yeah, James. He's like, you got plenty to do up there. You got your hands full. You got an auction and no open on a 631 blue wing black D. He's right. You know what I think they could be doing? They could be waiting till the literal last minute. Like that's what they could be doing. Thinking, wait, if I hold out and then I put that open in at the end and if she's still dumb enough to sell it, then we're going to get it. All right. Like think about that. I mean, I know we saw like, I wasn't planning on spending the next seven minutes on this ring, but hey, it's a very special ring that I just think, again, it's a passion piece for me. I feel like that at 3,500 has got to get an open. It's got to, it's got to. Let me show it on the hand again. Yes, we're going to try it on, show you how beautiful and simple, but again, complex in the way these bridge mountings are not easy to make. We got the open! And then... <laughs> Do you, wait, 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 wait. I've worked with Tony for 18 years. He just applauded and opened. I just heard applause from the control room. <laughs> that, if that just doesn't tell you everything. <laughs> He's like, congratulations. <laughs> Give her a gold star. Give her a medal. Nothing to get excited about yet. I'm, I'm in a, a place here where I could be selling this for thousands and thousands under cost. Anthony, who do you have there? Susan at 35 and is she like our other person back there said a minute ago like they know they're getting it for too low so is she doing the same thing is she going like oh I know I should pay you more but I'm not going to right I'm not going to if she's silly enough to do it at this price I'll take it all right so the question is now uh, right now Susan is slated to be the beneficiary of this incredible auction we're at 35 so that's the news. And we have five minutes left in the show. And normally we give it a two minute clock. So I know you might be waiting until the last minute. I'm not going to let you. We're going to give it two minutes. I mean, that way we can try to show another item here before we go. So I'm looking at it this way. Let's try to get you some more jewelry before we go. And we have 35 over there. That's it. One bid. So now it will sell. We know that much. It will sell. Tonight it gets its home. Question is where? And if you're going, me over here, please, me then that's what you got to do is call. You got to just dial that phone number. We'll take care of the rest. Anybody else who wants to get in, this is your time. I can have six carat plus, I can have six and a half carats. Very rarely, very rarely do they go under 6,000 or 5,000. This is under and well under $4,000 right now. And we're going to give it two minutes, shall we? That way we'll have a little bit of time at the end of the show. Shall we? Not even going to be, right? We're not, we're not doing power increments. We're not doing $500 increments. We're doing $100 increments. You are $100 away from potentially owning this ring, the key. Call before the two-minute clock ends. That's it. Simple as that. Take a look. Let's give it our final two minutes. We're going to sell it. And where is she calling us from, Anthony? Arizona. Oh, she's in Arizona. Oh, goodness. I don't know if this is going to cool her down or heat her up. Like, it's already hot out there, but you know what? That is a hot stone, and she's going to look awfully cool with that on, right? She's going to, and by the way, you can change the gold if you want. That's any, any gold you want, so I say that to anybody who's thinking about getting in. Yellow gold's fine. Rose gold's fine. No problem there. But this is a moment to remember here, and the best way to remember it is to have a ring to commemorate it, right? Have the ring on your hand. And every time you look down, you go, wow, did I spend $50,000 or did I spend $3,500? What did I spend again on that ring? That's just amazing, amazing, amazing value. And when our last minute left here, that's it, guys. Last final one minute is counting down here. So it's your last call. Get on those phone lines. We don't want you to miss out. Please don't. This is your chance right now. I mean, how many times in life are you going to see? A major six carat plus in a bridge, no less. Big individual diamonds throughout. How many times are you going to get an opportunity like this to see a fabulous bridge with a double row in big important diamonds too? 
that are going right underneath it. And you get to check it out from all the angles like that one. Look at that. I mean, just precision setting there, right? The culet just right hovering above those diamonds. The profile's amazing. We got 30 seconds left. 30 seconds to figure it out. And then what I'm going to show you here at the end. Oh, we still have that bypass ring. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, last call, final chance. Is she, we're, gonna, we're gonna let it go, let it go to Arizona. See what I tell you, not many bidders in at the last few minutes of a Friday, even despite this value, right? Even despite the big, big, big value. I still have those diamond clover earrings. I'll pop those in for another look here as well. Before we go, looks like this one's gone. Do we have 36, yes or no? No, yes, no, all right, yes, no? Sold! Congratulations! One more look at these designer clover earrings that I absolutely adore. Take a look at this. We've got the clover diamond earrings that are on a basically a hoop. Leads to a drop, leads to pave. Item number here is 4982, only one pair in the world. And they are solid 14 karat white gold only with a carat 70 in VS diamonds and a snap bar hoop. And look at the back. Look at the back. It's got clover cutouts in the back. I mean, that is just a beautiful earring. I would actually wear those backwards. You know, if you're feeling like, oh, I got to tone it down today. You know, I'm just going cash. Still wear your earrings. Just put them in backwards and you've got a beautiful gold clover, right? You can do that. Anyway, let's go ahead and blow them out. They're only $29.99 for this gorgeous designer style. We have less than two minutes left in the show. Uh, one of our other fabulous ideas today is also the bypass ring with the pink and the white. So we'll show that to you one more time. Here are the earrings on the hand. Let's just show you one last look at these gorgeous inch and a half drops that again start with the pave hoop, lead to lots of pave. Then you do have really five individual stones, six if you include the bezel set stone that's basically at the middle. And then you've got that beautiful look. And then we'll show you for our last minute, we still have this gorgeous bypass ring, which is down in price. And actually, I always like putting the pink at the bottom here just so you can really look at that stone. That's what's so rare is that pink diamond oval. It's a beautiful color. And that one is down to $39.99. And I don't have the item number handy, but Tony sure does. There it is, 4 to 7 11 on that one. And that is only going to be $39.99. A lot of people talking about this ring. Do not miss out. We have less than a minute left in the show. So our final, final call is now. And if you have any questions about what you've seen for the last three hours, please don't hesitate to give us a call and ask those questions. We will be here for a minute or two to help you with those. And don't forget, in a minute or two, we'll be back 12 hours from now. We're going to be back with a Saturday show. Remember, it's our daytime show. Our weekend shows on Saturday and Sundays are daytime shows. They're morning shows here on the West Coast, afternoon on the East Coast. Make sure you're with us at 10 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow and Sunday for an incredible lineup. Got some very special ideas for you, and it all kicks off 12 hours and 16 seconds from right now. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. We really appreciate it from all of us here at TV On. We wish you a wonderful night, a great Saturday morning. We'll see you back for more shopping, three big hours for our Saturday. We'll see you guys then. Thanks for being at the club with us. I'm Lauren Blair. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow morning.